Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and today I have some amazing news to share with you all if you haven't been following, because we have five iron ingots. That is five sevenths of the way to making a cauldron, and five fifths of the way to making a minecart if we didn't care about actually progressing. But progress in the super flat outside of very weird niche things um, and just, you know, making our farms work, which we're doing in the background of everything else. Progress is tied to being able to get water so we can go fishing and so we can make drowns. Drowns allowed copper because that's one of their drops. And so today is all about making sure that we can get more zombies killed. We've upped the number we need because I need to get three, two more ingots to make the cauldron and then three more ingots to make the bucket. The reason the cauldron is so exciting is because at least while the cauldron's made and I'm trying to get the bucket, I can wait for that. But still, we've been, it's very exciting today. Uh, we're actually moving uh, forwards in this very exciting way. But what are we doing? Uh, you might be wondering. First step is we're removing these little blocks of grass. They're going to allow, uh, once we've uh, actually sh uh, shoveled all of these blocks of grass, the farm will operate at night. Why does it not operate at right night right now? Because at night, mobs start to spawn on all solid blocks, because mobs spawn on anything that's not solid or transparent. And so uh, to remove that, we remove every single possible spawn opportunity, which right now is all of these grass blocks. So we do this, which we're going to be doing across the day, as we've been doing for a long time. Seriously, look at the amount we've done here. All with wooden shovels, but then also on top of that, we're working on chopping down some trees because we need to extend our farm upwards, outwards, downwards. We need to make sure that the part of the world that can spawn in mobs is working at full capacity. And the biggest part of making that happen is of course having dirt, which we're doing a ton of. But also what we want to do is we want to, uh, let's let's make some axes right now. Uh, also what you want to do for that, actually wait, we have a whole chest full of axes. We'll use some of those. Uh, also what we want to do is we want to make uh, trapdoors because trapdoors are how the, how, how the whole magic work. If you're curious as to how that exactly is, then uh, allow me to show you in a second, right after we chop down some trees. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we've been making some really good progress and uh, it's gonna be happening today. I I think that um, it's kind of crazy that we've gone to the stage of Minecraft where we're making mob farms just be out of necessity. But again, I, I feel as though sometimes the challenge is fun when it pushes you just, just a little bit in the right direction. And I'm really hoping that, like, the push will be worth it, you know? Like, getting all those fish will be really fun, except, you know, getting all those extra drops, lily pads, etc., will be really cool. Um, you're in the following situation, and then there's, uh, I'm gonna have to read that in a second, but, uh, uh thank you very much. It's good to see you, dog girl. Uh, friend of the channel. I mean, you know, I could say everyone's a friend of the channel already. There's, there's this interesting thing. I, um, a lot of people feel as though the default is, like, you shouldn't, um, like, uh, you know, like, oh yeah, you can just say friendly things all the time. I actually have this, like, internal tempering of saying, like, overly nice things. Because if, you, if you're nice to everyone, then you're effectively nice to no one, right? That's my, that's my kind of controversial take. But, like, um, yeah, yeah, obviously it's not actually always true. Also, Hi Toy Cat says, move, thank you for the tip. Start on the stream good. So, obviously, the way these streams are supported are via tips and uh, people becoming members. That's why you're going to see that come up on the stream. I'm sure you're familiar with that if you're somehow watching this. But, given that this is a massive stream series, maybe you're not familiar with that. Yeehaw, I'm American. I say vacuum cleaner, says Crabbit. Also, thank you very much to um, Gurav uh, Kumar Singh for becoming a channel member. Welcome to the coolest catist clubist. Um, <laughs> that's definitely how we can say that, okay? Um, but yeah, I uh, let's 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 start rolling, shall we? And uh, let's let's do this. It's a big day today, but the progress is gonna be worth it. I dislike most humans. You're a human I like. I only like a few humans, says Darkadest666. I, um, see, right, I, I think that you're, um, I, I, I agree with what you're saying, that that is, like, kind of a good compliment. It has limits to, you know, that particular thing that you're mentioning there. But uh, and, and overall, it's, like, a little bit of truth, right? That if you like everyone, you don't like anyone, to some small extent. And uh, there's also a little bit of truth to the idea that, um, you know, like, if you're... If you're mean to everyone, that's also equal. It's better to be nice than everyone to be mean to everyone, but still, it's like you're something of the the real thing that represents what something is is kind of the um, what you do specifically. I, I don't even know. Like if you're if you're just as nice to your friends as your enemies, are you nice to your friends? Um, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm I'm looking forward to the progress we're making today, and the first part of that is we're gonna make ourselves a ton of extra uh, dirt platforms and a ton of extra slabs. So obviously that means that oh, I just actually got rid of my axe when I'm gonna go chop something down. 
what I like to do when I'm working on this farm, just for the sake of uh, stream visuals and, you know, my own... You know, look, see, seeing only darkness will get you eventually. So what we do is we chop down a little block just at the top here somewhere. And then it's a little bit easier for us to see at night. And, oh, it's actually... We're probably going to lose that block permanently. But yeah, that, now we can get light in there, which means now we can actually work on it. It's not going to be a lot of light, but it's enough to actually see what's happening. Oh, it's actually... <laughs> the light doesn't really transfer much down here at all, right? But still. So yeah, uh, another thing uh, we've learned is uh, since last time. We're learning all sorts of uh, pro tips here, by the way. Also, uh, thank you. Um, good luck, Toycat. I've gotten one iron just recently. What do you think about the Oscars? Um, I think, like, you know, this is an industry that survives exclusively on hype. I mean, I guess the entire entertainment industry is based on it. Like, people people like to believe there's other things to it, like quality. But quality is just something that people use to create hype, is the lesson that I think people learn from uh, the last while or so. And, um, okay, we're gonna place a block there. So we're gonna, we're gonna extend the farm down here, too, just for the sake of not having mobs fall all the way off. <laughs> also, um, I'm usually at work when you stream and end up watching them later. Feels good to catch you live, even though I'm in bed sick. Um, Toy Cat is yes. Thank you very much, baby Christina. Yeah, I think, um, I think that creating, uh, hype as a business model is a perfectly fine one. So yeah, here's something interesting. Spiders are still spawning despite us doing this because they can spawn. I, I don't understand the logic on why they're still spawning, but they are. And so that means we're just removing one ninth of our possible spawn, uh, conditions. And, um... Yeah, it's uh, it's it's something we're gonna have to do. Also, um, I uh, uh, if you're on the Switch Station, you're an orphan. You meet your mum for the first time, only to watch her murder someone, asking for a friend. Oh, god, that that's that's um, badly is is my go-to response to this. How do you react? Probably not very well. <laughs> that's my that's my instinct. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm just too sensitive. Um, also, as a waitress, it was nice to know one. Here is your tip. Thank you very much, Stephen Milligan. Ste Stephanie Milligan. See, that was not nice of me. That was, I, that's like a big, actually you know what? If, I feel as though that would be extra not nice if you were like, you know, like maybe in your real life people called you Stephen by accident a lot, but I, I doubt that happens. I, I, I think it's only if like you're really bad at spelling like me that you can make that mistake. But um, yeah, I, I actually don't believe if you're a waitress, especially a waitress in the US of A, where your currency comes from, I actually don't believe that you're not nice to anyone. Uh, Stephanie Milligan, I think that you're, uh, I think you're underselling yourself right there. Because, like, you know, isn't that whole job based on institutionalized niceness to some extent? You know, it's it's so weird, like, you, oh, no, not again. Well, it's fine. We, we're, we're perfectly used to dying at this point. <laughs> it's a good way to come check on the crops, which, as you can see, have, in fact, they, they do need some, uh, some weeding or some seeding. I guess seeding is what we're doing here. Um... I love how this stream is coming to revolve about acquiring an otherwise useless block, says Michael D. Isn't that the beauty? Isn't that the the real beauty of uh, Superflat is that it makes you uh, acquire the the uh, the things that you would otherwise not care too much about. It's uh, I I think that's a beauty personally. Okay, so we got 13 of these uh, wheats. We're probably gonna make a ton of cows or sheep. So I'm, I'm not even sure at this point, but we're gonna save these in there. Get a nice little batch of those going. Um, but yeah, you should put up a death counter, says Charlie Masky. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I was thinking, like, potentially making a video from, like, you know, like, all these streams, like, I think a lot of people like watching long form. But there's, there's one of two things we should do of this, right? Either we make a, uh, hi to cat, any way to, uh, get red mushrooms, red mushroom plus brown mushroom plus flower equals suspicious stew. Oh, that's a really cool way to get a ton of effects, too. If, if there is a way, it'd be nice. I'm not sure that there is. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm think, thinking incorrectly. So yeah, it's a little bit of a pain having to, like, re-equip uh, items. Because I think it's, like, we want bow, sword, food. Then we want shovel, 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 blocks. <laughs> oh, also a mob spawned in. That's interesting. Oh, it died immediately. It was a spider. We don't care. Um, so, uh, no mashup pack stream in three years now. What gives, says IBX Toy Cat. Should we stream a mashup pack just like old days? Someone's got to put together a super cut for the deaths. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so what we're doing is we're going a third layer higher because this means there's a third possible set of location. Wait, what happened there? Did a creeper explode or something? I wonder why the blocks are missing. 
But um, yeah, we uh, we need to make it as many possible locations that mobs can spawn as possible. Um, even if it takes them like a little bit to work their way down the farm, it shouldn't interfere with other mobs spawning, and so it's not a very big deal. Sounds like a job for Harrison. See, you know, there's 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 one of two things we can do with it though. We could do uh, the de the death set. You know, th there's a few fun things we can do with that. But I think the the major solution is we either make a uh, like what would it be like a 15 20 hour video and combine every part of it whenever I'm you know relatively finished. You know, uh, you know, like I, I I don't think there is a finished point on this, but I think like with every Minecraft project, there's a point where it stops impassioning you because you're like I just want to not for a bit. And uh, so, you know, when, when we reach our inevitable next stalling point that we can't get past, um, and once we've like built our little museum, we we have to make the museum. Um, then that's that's a thing we should do. Okay, so we are going to on the side here. Perfect, nice. All flat defs, IBX four cap. <laughs> uh, actually, not that that does sound like a that does sound like a video you can expect on IBX four cap, which is definitely the name of that channel. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I, I actually really do, I like the idea of mashup packs, and I see them on the store all the time. Uh, like you can get some included with Realms Plus as well. I just never, never give them a download. Maybe wrongly so. Also, it's really impressive to be able to die on, like, given this mob platform basically is here to stop mobs from taking full damage. The fact that I managed to take full damage anyway, you gotta give me credit for that, right? So yeah, so we can get these 600 zombies killed today, which is the statistical number we need to kill. Because 1 in 120 chance of getting an iron ingot. We need 2 iron ingots to make the cauldron now, and we need then on top of that another 3 iron ingots while the cauldron's running to get the, um, to get the bucket. 600 extra zombies is what we're going to have to kill. And so, uh, if we're going to kill 600 zombies, this, this farm needs to work effectively. That's just a, a given... Uh, matter of fact, as far as I'm concerned. Um, also, a uh, new video idea. Replacing a super flat world with slime blocks. <laughs> Thirsty boy, I think you've, uh, I think you've just come up with the most genius idea I've ever heard. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy in right now. That's, that's all I wanna, that's all I wanna see, that's all I wanna hear, that's all I wanna do. One thing that you can do is you can get emeralds from a raid. I, I was so bummed out when I learned this genuinely, like, you know, in, one of the cool things about Minecraft expanding is, like, you can think you know everything about Minecraft, but I guarantee there are areas you just don't know about, just by statistics. And, um, one of those such areas, um, is that I, um, one, one such area is, uh, like, for me, is At the- At the end, can you use cheats to go to the end? <laughs> I, I, I'm, like, so anti- Like, we could load up a copy of the world and do that, but, like, I will- I will die- I will end the series before I consider cheating in this. Which I know- I know is, like, a ludicrous stance to take for a lot of people. But, like, uh, that, that's- that's- that's, like, that's how I play Minecraft, right? Like, if you- There are lots of people who love the cheats or the mods, and they're like, that, that's their favorite thing to do, and I- I, I really- I don't think it's a- a bad thing. But uh, it's it's not it's not me, right? And the the cool thing about YouTube is that to some extent you are empowered to um, be your unique thing, because why would you be a worse version of something that already exists? I mean, I say that as I'm drinking diet Pepsi. Yeah, it's like um, I uh, I'm a big like in the, in the Pepsi Coke war. I'm like my personality says, well, Pepsi has to be better because it's more unique and blah 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 blah, blah all the all the dumb stuff. Um, but in reality, I would say, like, pep Diet Pepsi, just worse than Diet Coke. And regular, uh, Pepsi versus regular Coke, I feel like Coke wins. I, I love Pepsi Max, it's like the, it's my go-to drink. Or, I think it's called in America, Pepsi Zero Sugar. Don't know if it's the same drink, but it's the same branding. Please consult your, your local sugary drink style before making a purchase. But, um, yeah, I, um, I, so, uh, I, I, I like, my, my point there is that I, I'm inclined to... Um, also, watching on my brand new 48 inch TV says IBX Toy Cat. If you can afford a 48 inch TV, you can afford more than two euros. Wow. So no, there is a there's a European IBX Toy Cat of a very large TV. No, one of the one of the coolest purchases in life genuinely is like a big TV, right? It's one of those. I know it's like the modern, not quite symbol of wealth, but like symbol of like. I don't know, made it is the phrase I want to use, but it's incorrect in this circumstance. Okay, here's a here's a thing. Do you think I can make it over to there in one jump? 
I bet I can't, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to put our block back at the very top here. Uh, actually, it doesn't make a big difference, but it's fine. The other day I tried space flavored Coke. It's called Starlight Coke. I swear it's not a drug law. Oh, I've heard about Starlight Coke. I really want to give it a try, actually. Do you... There, there is my block. I, yeah, it's, um... There's a lot of things I missed while I'm not in the US. Hey! Also, thank you, Igor! Cesar, Madruga. Uh, wait, is Madruga... Isn't that the house in, um... That's the house in the... In Kanto, right? Mad... No, no, it's not. Close enough. You know what? That's... This is just Toy Cat doesn't know Spanish names well. So look, chat. There, There is a villager that has the, um... He's got the, the pillagey thing, right? He's... He's literally... So I'm gonna I'm gonna fire it by my boat him a few times. Oh wow, that that sucked. But this this guy, you'd figure. Also, I'm gonna get my first pillager banner. That's exciting. Oh, he just broke my armor. Oh no. Oh wow, that was one hit kill. And I've got my first crossbow too. That's exciting. But yeah, so you see how he didn't drop any emeralds because they don't drop emeralds unless it's a raid. I don't know why they have different drops during a raid. It seems like the most unnecessary thing. But let me tell you, it's very tragic anyway. <sighs> okay, so, um, I, uh, out of the X Toy Cat, I just broke my tablet when trying to install a custom ROM to watch you. Okay, I don't know what, what, gotta, gotta be careful reading out comments to make sure I actually know what I'm reading, uh, first. When is the Toy Cat wheel coming back, says Gurav uh, Kumar Singh. I do love the wheel of Toy Cat. Also, we're gonna add a couple of kills to our, um, a little kills to our, uh, counter right now. Gotta make some progress today, right? Would it be amazing if we got an iron ingot for one of these? It would be truly revolutionary. So yeah, we just throw an extra few drops in here. I we're, we're collecting a lot of very weird items, it has to be said. <laughs> Which uh, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of. And so now I have to do one other little weird thing before I go back to my shoveling. Uh, because now we've made the farm bigger, there are now more possible mob locations that can spawn. And as long as we place down enough trap doors, which I don't know if it's a certainty, but as long as we place down enough trap doors, more mobs should spawn at a given point in time. But there's one thing I want to do first to improve the efficiency even more than that. Because here's something fun, right? L let me show you something fun. So, um, I, I want to remove the pathway blocks up there. And I, I thought about this for like, solidly, uh, 13 seconds or so. Which, you know, so I, I don't want to brag, but I do know how to think for 13 seconds continuously. That skeleton's gonna kill me actually if I don't let him fall first. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for the skeleton to fall down. Oh, we, yeah, there you go. So if you've never seen that happen, that's why. They think the trap doors are full blocks because Minecraft is coded weirdly. Anyway, so uh, the slime block you can break instantly, which means if you want to replace pathway blocks with dirt blocks, this is the fastest way to do that. Look at the spider just dancing. Um, and so, yeah, we replace the pathway blocks because it doesn't achieve what we want it to. It's possible. Okay, he's dead too. Perfect. It's possible there's another way to do this. I've heard we could place buttons on all the edges, but then we'd be removing a lot of our spawn locations. But for now, I think the best solution is just to not have a solution. Like, if, if we're still getting spiders when we remove so much of our spawn locations to allow spiders, then I think that's a sign that it's not working. Tell me if you disagree. Um, spiders having a party. <laughs> That spider has taken more than his fair share. Oh, how, how, how did that happen? And why are you going up there, buddy? Okay, well, he's dead now. <laughs> that was scary. Like, how did that, man, the, the, the path finding on that was nuts. Like, he found his way all the way. You know, he, he was, he was desperate to find me and he very much did. So yeah, now we have maximum spawn locations. It's like maybe almost double, like at least 50% higher than yesterday. And the question is, will we get 50% more mobs? I I wouldn't expect it to be perfect one-to-one, -one, but we should expect more than we had before. That's that's a definite. So, critical hit, and he's dead. Lots and lots and lots of mobs is the goal. Is it the reality? Let's find out. So, um, I, uh, I want to see you with a cauldron and a bucket before the end, says James Middleton. I want to see me with a cauldron and the bucket before the end. Uh, do these messages even shop? Says doggirl51. Uh, it shows on the screen that you've remembered, but the uh, YouTube API doesn't send those messages over for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. So they can only show up in the chat, which is fine, right? Like, that's... You're all reading chat right now. Oh, I mean, all of you reading chat are reading chat right now. Those of you who aren't, I mean, just... You know, imagine that you are reading chat, and that's, that's exactly like that. So yeah, as you can see, pretty nice. Free zombies pretty quickly. 
But yesterday it was working effectively sometimes too, just not all the time. So yeah, we we use uh, the bow to kill arrows. Uh, sorry, we use <laughs> the bow to kill skeletons. Uh, badly, apparently. Solely because they've got a chance of like, I don't know, messing me up, causing me problems. Don't want to deal with it, and so I don't. And so, yeah, things are going okay enough. Oh, we got some chain armor. Should I wear it or should I put it in the chest? Like, I can't exactly grind it down or anything, so I might as well treat myself. Right? What do you reckon? Also, um, Anastasia. Found more giant mushrooms? I think that I probably should at some point. Like, when I get a red mushroom, I don't know if I can get a red mushroom. I'm relative. I, like, I, without thinking about it, it seems tricky. But that's without thinking. Um. I um I I would like to have a red and a brown mushroom so I could make mushroom stew. Um whether that's gonna happen or not, different question entirely. So I'm gonna drink some soy sauce today. It's everyone everyone's favorite beverage. You know what? Soy sauce is such a weird drink. Like, why does nothing else come in a container like this? When you think about it, right? Um carpets in the middle will stop spider spawns because they're solid. Yeah, but wouldn't the pathway block stop them too? Don't witches drop mushrooms? Oh, yeah, witches do drop mushrooms. I don't know if they drop the red ones. Or maybe they don't drop any mushrooms, and I'm imagining that too. Again, if there's anything I've learned from these streams, it's that we all have collective false memories about a lot of things. Partially because it's easy to misremember, like the Mandela effect. Like, did you know Nelson Mandela died in prison? Um, you know, it sounds like a thing that could have happened. Not because it happened in an alternate timeline, but because it just sounds pretty believable. Um... Or am I just saying that because I'm covering up the real uh, thing right here? Oh, Christ. Um, what do we get from that? I got something weird. Um, uh, so, yeah. We, we don't like to kill skeletons with our, with our, arrow, with our fists. Because it's just taking too much damage for what it's worth. We have to use up so much food. I'd rather use one of my arrows, which is a resource with this basic job in mind, uh, than use up two carrots. Which is do not drop shrooms. Do they not see, right? I, uh, I I could look into these facts, but I much prefer the fun game we play where we go, does this happen? Does this not happen? I don't know. <gasps> okay, so it's raining now. I If I can just get two iron ingots, which is incredibly unlikely, but it's a one in 120 chance, which means the next two zombies I kill could both drop um, an iron ingot, which didn't happen there. But maybe, you know, maybe, maybe. Are we, are we all going to believe? Are we believe in? Okay, we didn't believe hard enough. <laughs> but, um... Wait, if we're at 68 now... Did I make a mistake on the counting? Yeah, it should have been 58. Well, you know what? We're going for 768 now. It's a nice round number. It's three quarters of the way to 1,024. So, guess we're going for it. And you wonder why your stomach hates you? <laughs> I, uh... Is, is Diet Pepsi bad for you? Diet Pepsi can't be bad for you. There's, there's no way it's bad. I, um, ooh. I think soy sauce is bad for you, though. Count correctly? You count correctly. It's really hard. You have to make it 769. Says, hmm. How about we go for 769 anyway? Just because it's a nice number. How about... It's so weird. Look at that. They, I, I guess because zombies spawn in big groups, that's why we get zombies as a big thing. Like, did you see how many spawned there? So, yeah. We're just going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. And because we get arrows back from skilling, killing skeletons, we can afford to shoot a creeper or two. So, one, two, one, two. Nice. Getting some good progress made uh, in one sense of the word. In another sense of the word, we're making two steps forward, one step backwards. But yeah, I think uh, we can stand around here all day, and that is great. And I do intend to do that. I think it's like a good last push at the end of the stream. But I think the first part of the stream always has to be spent making efficiency changes. Even small things like these pathway blocks will go a long way in the end. Uh, even small things like the few extra trap doors goes a long way. Um, just making as many of these as we can. Diapepsy is a spot which causes cancer and stomach lining problems. See, I, um, I think there's this big movement to say that... Um, and I actually agree with the basis of this, right? Like, so, in a in a world where everyone hates sugar, companies went out very quickly, like, with, you know, like, to find brand new things we'd never used before as humanity. Things that were sweet, but that didn't have a thousand... Because, you know, we've been eating sugars for a thousand years. 
So we're like relatively sure that it's fine. But the things that companies found to replace sugar, we don't have the same basis for. However, to use an ingredient, even in just the United States, which people like have a say has a famous reputation for not caring about this stuff. Also, toy cat is yes. Apparently not. Oh, because it's not Texas Peach. I was wondering how Texas Peach was gonna spell that. But um thank you very much for the lovely message. It got a bit messed up on um It got a bit messed up on the uh, thing, but it was a giant F in case you're curious. I uh the world doesn't have big salmon. The world needs big salmon. What'd you get when you cross a joke in a rhetorical question? I think I've used that joke in my outro a few times. <laughs> I do like it. It's very good. It's high quality. So yeah, we're every now and then I want to move forwards, but I guess they're just not spawning in here. So it's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really... I, I, I love the fact that this like insurmountable task of filling in this whole area genuinely did get done. Have you tried mugging zombies instead of killing them for their iron? Hey, good to see you, Aaron. Miss Shaling. Miss Halling? I've never known how to say that. I've known you for a while. But, um... Yeah, you know what? Why, why are we going the violent route when we could just non-violently mug them? Is is mugging inherently violent? Like, it's using the threat of violence to get what you want. But is it better to use the threat of violence or actual violence, right? Like, I, I've seen a lot of people talk about, um... You know, like, insert Oscars thing here. Uh, basically, a guy hit a man because the guy, the, the the man spoke about the other man's wife. That's there's, there's the there's the TLDR if you want to know pop culture today. Um, Cop lemonade and Pepsi Max Cherry is pretty good. You should try it. Oh, I have Pepsi Max Cherry. Like I buy them, in, I buy them by the twenty four at Costco. And like the fact that I can say I buy them by the twenty four and it's been multiple batches should tell you how good I find them. Um, but uh. Yeah, I, uh, ooh. Let's keep on, keep on grabbing all of these, huh? I, I think that, uh, they give iron willingly. I mean, willingly is a strong, is a strong word. Just friendly suggestions, that's what I Yeah, it's just like, hey, I would like it if you gave me your... You should make your next realm experiment a flat world challenge. That's actually a fun idea, Anastasia. That's a fun idea. I, uh, cause like, see, see how, like, other people react to the same challenge? That like I'm dealing with, but like on a mass scale. Yeah, I you know I I know the the problem being is like it's kind of hard to enforce like please don't hack rules, <laughs> and like people love to. But yeah, I feel like if we can get that down, uh, it'd be a lot of fun. Maybe just only get friends, people. I'm curious, is there an end goal to the flat world challenge? Says Fern P. I uh, the end goal is to get as far as we can, right? Have as many unique items as possible. It's kind of like Minecraft. Like, wouldn't it be ludicrous to say this Minecraft world has an end goal and then it's over? Um, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm the only one who finds that ludicrous. But like, I would find that ludicrous if someone said that was their goal. Um, so, uh, so okay, your mob farm makes cave spawns, but the surrounding area is surface spawns. Uh, they're different mob caps, so the spawn proofing shouldn't affect it. Oh, that's during the day though, right? During the night, it will affect it. And given that then mobs, uh, these slimes will spawn at night. Um, they'll take up some of the mob cap. Also, they can spawn during the day, sometimes, based in certain chunks. Um, but like any mob that can spawn at night and survive, creepers and spiders, they'll just, they'll just give us very minor problems. Um, which, to be fair, very minor problems are a good type of problem to have when compared to the alternative. But still, would, would be better just to not. Make a ton of shovels, because we're just going to go through them all. And I hate you, and I hate you so much. Um... Also, thank you so much, Monica, Monica, Christy, for becoming a channel member. I'm glad you liked the stream. Welcome to the coolest cat club. I saw a, I saw a couple of, um, I saw a couple of people were uh, rich cat. Uh, so thank you very much. I know who you are, but do you know who you are? I think it's such an interesting way of uh, doing a thing too, right? Uh, your initial goal should be to beat a pillager raid, says Mr. Panda. Um, also, I, it's so weird, look at this now. Is there a reason you need to kill the zombies and not just make the mobs fall to their death and pick up the loot? Is there a reason you need to kill the- Oh yeah, so for some reason, um, certain drops aren't available when you don't kill the zombie, right? Am I wrong about that? Can zombies drop iron if you don't kill them? I've never seen it, um, at least. I, again, I could be wrong. Could be very wildly, wildly wrong. 
Also, look, it's gonna happen. We're actually here. I didn't believe this was this was actually coming in, but this is the moment, chat. This is we're, we're finally. Do you see it ahead of us right now? I only drops if killed by the player. See, right? Why? That's one of those facts where it's so infrequent you'd never spot it in the game, and it doesn't feel intuitively correct. Like, why can a zombie drop uh, its armor? Oh, not its arm, but like rotten flesh when killed by the player. But not, you know, it's it's strange. I mean, actually, that that makes sense because I guess it drops it either way. No, actually, it doesn't make sense. Why? Surely, if the zombie has an iron to get on him, it doesn't matter if you're, like, it shouldn't matter about your status of killing him or not, as to whether it drops something. Like, why should it be true? But it is. Yeah, right. So much of Minecraft is like that. It's it's kind of fun. Whoa, we're almost here, chat. Are you here for this historic moment? We're gonna, we have to place a few more blocks to, <laughs> you know, let's, let's just uh, place those back in there. And then these over here too. I wish I had flat worlds of caves. That'd be so cool. I would, uh, I'd find that interesting as heck. You, uh, how are you gonna get water? We're gonna get water by running a cauldron while it rains. Sadly, there's no rain this time, but there'll be rain uh, soon. And uh, then after that, we're gonna get a bucket. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That's why we need iron. So, oh, we're so close, internet. Do you see this? Do you see how close we are? But yeah, why is it? It doesn't really make a lot of sense when you dive into it that you need to kill the zombie, right? I don't even, I don't understand it. Pathing is done. Hey, pathing's not done yet, TWP Pikmin. I could get blown up by a creeper right now. It's my my sad history of being blown up by creepers I can actually confirm that. Oh, look at it. We're almost there. We're almost there, internet. Oh, oh yeah. Isn't this so satisfying? All of this area <laughs> is gonna be complete before we complete it. I think it's I think it's finally time to kill these lions. Um, get a little bit of level. There we go. We're good. Then we're gonna eat our carrot, obviously. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna, ooh yeah. Just, there's one, this is the only patch of grass left in this whole area. Oh yeah. And now, after all of that, we can finally say that we have flat, we, we have covered in, <laughs> covered in uh, paths an entire four by four chunk area. I think it's a little bit wider than four. No, it's four by four chunks, I think. No, it's 8x8 eight eight chunks. Whoa, yeah, it's 128 by 128 area because it goes four blocks and four chunks in every direction from this. That is that is nutty. But it's done now. It's done. <laughs> oh man. So now, even at nighttime, if I'm standing in the very center, the only blocks that are able to spawn in mobs are those that are directly above me. In the direction we're standing in, we need to actually pathway a few more blocks, for what it's worth. I think standing in this direction is smart for that reason. But still, that's that's absolutely crazy that that is a real thing we have accomplished. Why don't you, um, why don't you try to get music with skeletons and creepers, since creepers are at half a half health? Yeah, that's an, that, that is an accidental benefit of what we're doing here uh, today, Logan W. We are accidentally uh, getting some some pretty nice benefits. In that way. Also, I made too many shovels. I've got I've got a lot of extras. We're gonna have to work out what to do with those eventually. You know, it's fine. It's it's not like there's never gonna be a great use for them. Uh, so we're gonna combine our swords together, and then we're also gonna have to make another sword because this is still a pretty sad sword, a pretty sorry sight. We're gonna put our like again because we died. Our inventory's still a bit messed up, so we're gonna put all of our goodies in the top left, and then we're gonna. Look forward to some mob spawning. Zombies spawn in big batches, so it's not too depressing if we don't see them immediately. But yeah, it's fine. How much iron do you have to cat? Five out of seven. So yeah. Also, you know what? Can you kill zombies with a bow and still, still get the thing done? I don't even know at this point. I don't even know why it matters. Oh, okay. Another zombie, another creeper. Kill the creeper. We don't have our arrows. We must have lost them when we died. Um, okay. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Knew I could have done that wrong. I was very cautious of getting that incorrect. So, yeah, where did my arrow- I guess when I died I didn't pick up my arrows. Okay. 
That's nice. We, we're gonna slowly, slowly grind through some more arrows. I think it's actually smart to let the um, let the zombies come out to uh, us over here. Because that way the the spawns can still like I'm I'm very tempted to run in and murder them because it just it feels right, but I think by letting the zombie run to me, he's still gonna be under the the shield here, so we're fine. And because zombies have a wider detection radius, not only is it a little bit safer, actually you know I don't I, maybe they don't have the wider detection radius. Like he should be able to see me right now, but he also just doesn't. Oh, there's three of them too. So I think we if we just go around the edges. We can get maximum uh, mob spawning. Okay. Nice. It's good stuff. We're gonna have so much front flesh by the end of this. Like, I don't even- I can't even imagine what we're gonna do with all the front flesh. But, again, we're collecting it, and that's gonna be nice enough, I guess. So, um, Toy Cat, did you just casually jump over an arrow shot at you? <laughs> MLG, what can I say? I still would like it more of Minecraft, like you picked up arrows that dropped on the ground, right? Can everyone agree that that's how it should be? I think it should be. Uh, yeah, something else I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually fill this in with um, dark oak slabs. I think having just dark oaks come in at weird angles looks a bit strange. And we're also, we also wanna build a fence around it, besides in like particular places, to limit the throughput of mobs. Uh, and so, oh wow, that one just fell right off the edge, huh? See, and we can't count that towards our total because he, we that that total is based on the average number of um, zombies killed to get us the number of, the amount of iron that we need, and so we can't count that towards it as much as we would like to. Come on, iron! It's gonna happen eventually. Um, just check the wiki. Apparently, cave mobs are spawned below the highest solid block or spawnable non solid block. Maybe your goal should be full diamond mob heads, and all discs except picks up. The you need four chunks in each direction, taxi cab distance. Therefore, you need nine chunks total. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I actually I realized the moment I mentioned it was an eight by eight chunk area. That the problem is that um. Like, the, the problem I immediately realized, realized is that if this is in the center of all of that, this is actually four quarter chunks. And so there's a tiny little bit of area in each in one direction that isn't going to be correctly proofed or whatever. Can't your heads cause tridents? Can't get heads because trident. Uh, we can get a trident. Um, the trident comes from a drowned. We have to make the drowned ourselves. Which might prevent him spawning with a... No, no, we, we could probably get drowns to spawn. If we have big water, right? Or can... Uh, drowns only spawn in rivers. I, I don't actually know the rules. I thought the title says, I'm getting women. And I was shocked, says Adenar. Let's be honest. If there's anything more unrealistic than hoping to kill 600 zombies uh, in the span of two hours, it is, you know, it is uh, a, a YouTuber... Uh, getting, getting women, am I right? There we go. High quality self burn. If a regular zombie becomes drowned, it will never have a trident. But don't they, okay, so, um, okay, I, I wanna, if you're a bedrock person, can you confirm this? Bedrock has two ways that a trident can drop. One is that if he's holding the trident. Oh, but then the second trident drop is never gonna be enchanted. So we'd have to get our own enchantment table, which is impossible. But we could still get a lightning rod and have a ton of creepers. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. We have to have uh, creepers on standing on top of lightning rods. Um, in such a way. Okay, I, I really hope. Okay, that was fine. What do, What do you reckon? Yeah, it's a was a 1.18 change. Okay, so go in there and get you two. Should have used a bow and arrow really, but it's fine. So as you can see, even though it's nighttime right now, because I'm surrounded in every direction by path blocks, nothing can spawn. They can theoretically spawn over there in those few little blocks. I shouldn't look away when there's a creeper there. But we're like, we're, we're relatively safe. Um, can you get a fish, get a book, then make an anvil to enchant the trident? Oh no, no, you're right, creeper fat. Yeah, no, I, we can get enchanted books and we can get an anvil. I don't want to think about the anvil process right now. <laughs> but it is possible. And then if we do that, we could get, uh, but we don't need that. But it's easier to just get uh, creepers over a tr 
ro uh, like over some lightning rods and then wait for lightning. <laughs> uh, man made drowns never drop tridents anymore. Oh, they, right, they changed that. See, that's what I'm saying with like, there's a lot of, um, because not everyone follows every change in every Minecraft update, it can be easy to forget things. This is actually one of the reasons why Minecraft is hesitant. Ooh, a witch. That is actually very exciting. That is actually top tier levels of excitement. Um, so I want to craft a sword. Okay, I'm just going to have to... I'm just going to use my bow. My new unbreaking bow. And I'm going to kill everything in here. There's a lot of mobs spawning in. Should we just kill the witch with the... With the, with the uh, there we go. Let's do it. No, it doesn't. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, not the poison, not the poison. Okay, we got a, we got redstone. Redstone's good. Oh no, the, that was actually valuable. Please, skeleton, stop killing my mobs. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's a lot of, uh, this, this guy's gonna need a sword. Ooh, iron chest plate might be our first. Uh, so there's four zombies here plus a potato. Um. Okay, nice. We got so many drops. Okay, things are going. Look, look at the insanity happening behind there right now. I don't have the help to sustain this. Uh, sadly, I really wish I did. Uh, but as you can see, everything is going crazy. I don't. I can't deal with this though. I need to go to bed because I don't. I mean, I can eat rotten flesh, but it's it's not ideal food, is it? So yeah, things are going very well. Um, iron shovel just dropped too. Might need to make a. Iron farmed again, Anvil. Says FF Games for the win. Exactly. That's the terrifying thing. Um, even if we could get a furnace running first, I would feel less daunted by that possibility. But for now, we're not thinking about it. Uh, for now, if we want um, creeper, uh, if we want to have uh, mop heads, we're going to have to put creepers over a thing. And it's going to be very tricky. It's going to be the most nerve-wracking stuff to run them around because they'll be so valuable. But, you know, uh, oh my gosh, my, <laughs> my inventory is so messy. I don't know how to, don't know how to unmessy it either. Um, also, spider, please, please don't. Why do you be that way? Okay, so we've got a second chest for just things like this now. We've got a first chest for things like this. Uh, we're going to take out some bones and we're going to bone meal a ton. Because carrots are a pretty solid food as it turns out. So I'm gonna enjoy, enjoy them to the max. Just, just make all all of the carrots that I can, because we we need healthy food sources. And carrots are one of your five a day. Also, how did they just vanish from the ground there? Like I didn't land on them. I didn't go near them. That's probably a bedrock bug, right? Um, hey toy cat, what I meant by brick my tablet was a brook, and in simple terms, uh, I tried to upgrade to 4.4 to watch your tablets and play. It wasn't Android 4.4 so long ago. Am I, am I wrong about that? Is this me being like Boomer Toy Cat out of date again? But I feel as though Android 4 was like many, many, many years ago. Um, okay, so break the carrots, enjoy the carrots. Break the carrots, enjoy the carrots. So now, now I have enough for a while again. We could probably go, oh no, there's a slime. Why? What is wrong with you? No! <laughs> Why the amount of my life that can be ruined by slime is so ludicrous. Why? I don't I don't like your existence. I don't acknowledge it. So what we do to get rid of slime. Oh, and there's a skeleton with a ton of armor in the pit too. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of murder here. Oh no, we're gonna die because we don't have a sword. Um, so we have to get out of this pit. Skeleton's gonna knock me off repeatedly. Oh no, this is actually just death again. Okay, please, please hit the slime or something. There we go, it's happened. No, they don't they don't care about each other. They don't okay, just kill me. Fine. That's that's great. This is this is lovely. I'm loving this so much. <laughs> Isn't this crazy that even now, even after all this progress we've made, we can still be just one, two like food is this rare, and we can still be immediately wiped out if a skeleton happens to have armor and we're dumb about it. Like, again, we could have avoided that. It's, it's totally avoidable. Like, I, I wanna clarify, this is all my fault. But the fact that, that that was just an unwinnable situation after I made one mistake is kind of nutty, in my opinion. Do 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 do. I love Pixset. Thank you for getting it to play by becoming a member, FF Games. Hope you enjoy your new green name and all of the other fun uh, member perks. So we'll put all the uh, unused shovels in here, because those actually 
uh, are like new and fresh, etc. We're gonna pick up all of the carrots. Wait, where are all the carrots? I feel like they were just on the ground a second ago. There's no way there's only five carrots. I swear. Okay, you know it's fine. I'm just gonna grow more carrots. I don't need to worry about the carrot growing status because I can just grow more. Why not eat raw beef? Um, I think in terms of time to get the feeding animals and then breeding them that way, or going out hunting them, genuinely is a worse return on investment than uh, just harvesting and farming a little bit. Could be wrong about it. Also, look, there's still... It's probably from the rain, but it's very surreal to see. Uh, but they're still good. There we go, 24 carrots and a lot of pain later, we're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some armor, you know, I'm gonna treat myself. Uh, I've got 13 leather here, I've got some leather in the other place. We're gonna just, we're just gonna allow ourselves to, to have this. Oh man, just so much, so many bows too. Like, I know the bows, we don't need to keep the bows, but if we want to make dispensers, and we might. Also, the redstone must still be on the ground over there. We need to get there soon so they don't despawn. Yeah, let's let's go do that. Wheat is easy to get though. Could compost the pumpkins for extra bone meal. Yeah, I, I think that with enough bone meal, which is what we're gonna have by the time we're any amount done with this farm. With enough bone meal, we can basically make as much of anything as we want to breed cows on mass. Uh, how can we get cows to die on fire though, chat? Like, let's, let's get creative here, because if I can get cooked beef, that is, that is revolutionary. How do we get cows to die on fire? Um, when it's lightning, if we have a lightning rod, we could start a f no, yeah, if we have a lightning rod and we have wool, we can start a fire, right? No. We just place enough wool, and then we'll start fires that way. And then we have to keep the fire always burning. A flame bow? Yeah, flame bow, okay, flame bow actually is a, probably the best solution. Like, it's one of the hardest, but it works. Um, oh, right, gold armor. That's good stuff, huh? Uh, trap a flame bow skeleton. Oh, if we can trap a flame bow skeleton. Do they, actually, naturally, do they use it? I don't think I've ever been fired at with a flame bow skeleton. Okay, yeah, if we see an, if we see a skeleton fire and a flame bow at us, we need to, like, mentally put the brakes on and be like, this is very valuable. Don't mess this up. Um, as emotionally hard as I'm sure that would be for me. It's what I need to do. Also, I'm going to use this iron shovel just a bit there. Because, yeah, this chest needs to be doubled. There's no question about it. Just, we have a lot of stuff in here. And then we're going to craft a full set of armor minus whatever costs six. So no leggings, I guess, right now. Uh, is the best we can do. Boots. And then we're also going to craft a chest. And then we can, oh, please don't kill me, Mr. Skeleton Boy. Okay, we're fine. Can we fire at him? We totally can. And he's dead. Whew. Uh, why do you need to put a... Uh, do you need to put it in a boat to prevent despawning? I think uh, ideally I'd name tag it. I can't name tag about an anvil though. So, um, we punch it. We put it in a boat. We put daylight over it. And we enclose it in a small space. Those are all the different ways that I know to stop mobs despawning. I'm hoping if we do all of them together... See, why did that zombie die immediately? That's that's a mystery we don't know. Oh, lots of them. Heck yeah. Why do you take free hits? <laughs> it's, it's very confusing, right? There's no there's no great explanation for that. So this creeper might be a two-hitter. Okay, he's a one-hitter, though. And then this switch is going to be a real nightmare. So much health. So much. Okay. Creeper. Yeah, this is this is a sign I need to put fences down, by the way. Like that. Okay, so two more added to the total. I think we're going to do the fences, and we're going to do the half slabs down here. Half slabs just will look kind of cool. I think it'll be a fun design. And the fences will add a ton to it as well. Oh, look! Two zombies for the price of one, chat. Uh, so the baby zombie's going to have full health, so we punch the adult, and then we use the sword on the baby. Two zombies for the price of one. That's what we like to see. Uh, increased spawns by AFKing 128 blocks above the lower level platform, says Ferris Manus. Does anyone know if that has any logic to it? Because theoretically, if they can spawn 128 blocks away, we should see them from all the way over here. We're not even 128 blocks now. But we don't. It's not a half slab, it's a slab, so triggering. 
Okay, so we're gonna put down the quarter slabs here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh... It's one of the, it's one of those Minecraft vernacular words. I just, I can't undo it. I'm sorry to tell you. I'd like to tell you it's great and it's fine and I'm never gonna say it again. But we, we know, we know it's true. We know it's, we know I'm gonna say it some more. Also, I think I should put, should I put, um, yeah, I know I should put the trap doors on the bottom layers there, but not on the top. Oh, in fact, these bottom blocks are very bare. Oh, because I've just placed them down. So that's actually, that's, the, that's an efficiency improvement we can make. Uh, an efficiency improvement we should make, perhaps. Uh, place this all in there. See, look at the amount of bone meal we will be able to make. It's going to be nuts. It can be very nuts. Uh, there's a creeper. We don't have any arrows left. Oh, we just put our arrows away. Oh, arrow away, I should say, really. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a ton of fences next. Just so we can control the exit points. I think I'll have one on each corner. But like, still, it's just, it's easier to make sure the mobs put into one place. Hey, 202, that's a nice round number. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much, Trippy Tricks Gaming, for becoming a channel member. Welcome to the club. I think I'm also gonna later shovel these and replace this with uh, dark oak. Or I'll, I'll put something else under there. I'm not sure what yet. Oh, the skeleton's doing the thing where he kills the zombies again, which I hate. Okay, so one zombie, two zombie. Weird zombie. Oh no, he died to the outside forces, so I didn't get the... Oh, also the counter's gone weird because the two is slightly too big. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, it's fine. I, I know what I'm doing. And by that, I mean I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, oh my god, five zombies. Yeah. Oh yes! Six! We're one and get away now, chat. We're one and get away. Do you see this? I'm gonna actually get it now in case a creeper falls down or something. Did you see that? Oh, I, I did see that. Oh yes. That is a good feeling. And so yeah, now we're gonna put, um... Everywhere but the corners, so we'll say the three blocks around a corner, we're gonna put these in place. It unshovels the dirt below it, but mobs still can't spawn there because it's a non-solid block. I don't know if that truly works. But then we can punch mobs over the fence, and it's a little bit more secure. For zombies, at least. For other mobs, your mileage may vary. Um, but yeah, we are now one iron ingot away from a cauldron. So yeah, we're, we're getting very lucky with the drops. Or Minecraft bedrock drop rates don't match the. I, I hope I hope that there's some some flaw, or I'm getting lucky. I don't I don't mind which it is, uh, but I'm I'm feeling good about it either way. Okay, we're good. Also, I, I think I killed another zombie, right? Let's go. Another one bites the dust. Do 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 do. So yeah, we can we can punch the zombies over the fence just to guarantee they can't hurt us. It's a handy little benefit. So yeah, doing this at night, as long as we do it from this direction, is relatively safe. Mobs can spawn in that little area there, and that little area there, but they're way more likely to spawn up there. Which is great. You've got that dream luck. So, I promise everyone, I don't have a mod pack installed that increases my drop rates. But actually I lied and I'm not going to admit it publicly until way after the fact. And I'm going to discredit a whole community to save my ego. I hope that's fine. Really enjoying the Superflat survival aspect. Thank you for choosing this method. No, thank you for becoming a channel member, uh, Trixy, Trippy Tricks Gaming. And even for tipping afterwards too. It is very nice of you. I, uh, I, But yeah, I, 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 I am enjoying the way this is happening too. I am enjoying it. So we're going to work our way around the edges. Place some slabs. Place some fences. It's going to be good stuff. It's, it's going to be a bit rough until we have placed enough fences. But the end result is going to be useful. Oh, more zombies. I love... You know when zombies spawn in more than one, there's going to be a few more coming afterwards. It just seems to be a fact of life. Took Toy Cat seven episodes to get six ingots. You're wrong. It's seven episodes to get seven ingots. This is my commitment now. I don't sleep until I get that seven ingot. I, you know, I, uh... This is, this is how it's going to be. There's no other way, okay? Oh yeah, this is good. This is what I like. I, I don't like standing in here and messing up the spawn rates after this, actually. Oh, lots of mobs, lots of mobs. Let's kill the skeleton. Don't let him kill anything else. Yeah, so this, this farm is a lot handier at night, I do have to say. Should I use my arrows? No, I don't have enough arrows to kill the... Um... Oh god. I was thinking I could use the arrow on the 
zombie just to save myself some pain. I don't think it's worthwhile, though. Yeah, at night we need more lighting. Should we make more redstone torches? Or do you think we should save it for pistons? Oh, we can't make pistons because there's no, um... There's no... Whatever that thing is called. You know the thing, right, chat? The cobblestone. Without cobblestone, I can't make pistons. Is there a way I can get cobblestone that I'm just not thinking of, maybe? Oh, well, that was useful. How Wait, how did he survive an arrow? Like, see? That's weird. He... The, these mobs should all be falling down to half a heart of health. They should die instantly. Also, I love... Did they spawn in there? How did they... How do we get a creeper and a, and a spider in there? It's a real question I have. I don't think I have a real answer. Pistons need iron. Oh, yeah, we're not using iron on a piston. <laughs> Let's say that right now. What's the biggest flex you can have on a super flat world? Oh, that's a good question. The biggest super flat... Flex. Um, chat, what do you reckon the biggest super flat flex is? It'd have to be something dumb like iron blocks. Like, I'd say I'd say enchanted diamond armor. It's not quite a flex in the normal way of, like, this is pointless, though. That's just a flex in, like, a wow, you actually you put in a ton of time, huh? So we're going to shoot you. Shoot you. And we can just let creepers run around. If we want. They'll, they'll come to us. We'll deal with them as they do so. Okay, that's the best way. Oh, we, we, we've not been eating for a while. Need to get that gold block house. Yeah, got, if you if you could get a gold block house running, it would take a lot of work. Because it's like a multiple step item just to get gold nuggets. Whoa, it's a zombie with a bow. That was cool. Oh, please don't. I, I will die. Um, so yeah, lots of creepers. I think the witch is definitely a mob because the witch has more health than normal... Um, Normal, normal mobs. It's it's definitely a bow and arrow kill. See, it just she just doesn't seem to. Okay, run in there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's another that's another death for the books. Um, so that's uh three deaths a day. Again, I the in case you're curious about deaths, it doesn't affect us at all. Like, we're playing in like uh, sadly the only reason deaths have a magic to them is because they rearrange your inventory. My inventory is all wooden tools and, you know, like, mob drops. Like, there's nothing. I should put the, the iron ingot away, though. That's that's probably true. Um, like, uh, and it, so in a series where, like, you know, dying is a given, given that we have basically no armor, it's it's no big deal. We don't need the experience, even. Um, it's just rearranging our inventory very slightly uh, when there aren't even that many items. Oh, I say that, but I've got so much, so much going on here. So we'll combine two caps together. Uh, and now we've got that sorted. I think we're going to have enough lever armor to last us a lifetime at this stage. Um, also, biggest flex would be naming your villagers. <laughs> I am so excited for getting villagers. Like, that is that is genuine. That's like if The closest thing I have to an endpoint in my mind is that. It's like so much work and effort to get there. But once we do, can you imagine, you know? Can you imagine? I don't know if you can imagine. Whew. Um, okay, so gunpowder. I so I like I like bow in my left slot. I'll use my most repaired bow, or I'll just repair two bows together. Actually, I'm, I'm sure I just have in here somewhere. No, I don't have a very repaired bow. So we'll just uh, put two in there. Oh, lots of mobs are spawning, and we need to kill the skeleton before he messes anything up. Zombie kill. Zombie kill. Yeah, we're getting a lot of armor. Oh, I, I, I think the regional difficulty must be going up. Or we're just seeing more mobs in general. But, like, look how many are starting to spawn in with real amounts of iron. I'm excited for this next iron. I only have one, says uh, Cat Beanie. Maybe I have gotten really lucky then. Maybe I've just gone absurdly lucky. Yeah, I think on this side, we're not going to leave the little hole in it. I think we're just going to... Yeah, I, I like this little fence. It gives me safe from creepers. In a very real sense of that word. Um, apples, as I learned, are uh, impossible. Obtainable. It doesn't feel like they should be. I'll totally agree with you if that's what your point with that statement was. Ooh, I, I, I want a wooden sword, creepers, just as a precaution. From here on. Okay. I got both the zombies there. Did they drop iron? I don't know yet. Did you drop iron? You definitely didn't. All you drop is pain and misery. Oh, man. 
man, so many mobs. <laughs> Run in there. Actually, I'm gonna leave this ingot on the hot bar just so I don't miss the second one. There's a tiny chance it goes wrong, but still, we're, we're one iron ingot away now, chat. It's it's happening. Yeah, just you know, you guys can you guys can stay there on the fence if you want. There needs to be a better way to deal with these guys, right? What's what do you reckon, Internet? We don't even have magma blocks or something to just like send undesirable mobs to. Okay, so there's a there's a creeper there. Always use the sword on the creeper. Like, it, it might have sustained just a little bit too little damage. And I, you know, like, I, I have enough wood. <laughs> wood is, funnily enough, one of the very few resources I have. Ample supply of. Okay, so now we can deal with the rest of the inventory sorting. So we'll leave this there as just a thing. Put the food there. And the rest of these is for tools. Obviously, it's going to get filled up with just... <laughs> Garbage and clutter over time. We're gonna need to like have serious numbers of chests it seems Like we're gonna have to sort this into armor and into weapons At some point also um ingot slash super flat episode greater than attacks on dbz episode I don't know what attacks on dbz is, but I'm glad that you're enjoying it <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. See, that okay, it's fine. It's fine um Okay, we're, we're good, we're bueno. I, I believe that zombie mob drops are just slightly higher than we've been led to believe. Oh, that's my current belief. Um, yep, that's my current feeling. It could be that I spend literally three hours now looking for that next sign ingot. But once we have a cauldron, we're in magic town. You're not wearing leggings yet. I don't have any leggings yet. Isn't it crazy? Look how many duplicate pairs I have for... For... Oh, actually, I've got some leggings. Never mind. <laughs> you know, thank you for saying that, actually, Internet. Usually, usually people, uh, you know, pesca, pesca me about, like, Toy Cat, why aren't you eating? It's not like I don't know eating is a mechanic in Minecraft, right? But that was actually a useful one. I had some leggings, and I weren't, wasn't wearing them. Uh, he does not like wearing pants. You know what? That's the actual explanation. I just don't like wearing trousers. And what? And what? A beacon would be the best thing. If you could get a beacon, that would be a flex. As it is right now, that's like a cheap flex, right? Like, you know, you know the, the every, every single child has tried to convince someone at some point that like, their house made of diamond blocks was totally real survival. Um, and like, no, 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 trust me, bro, trust me. So I'm gonna critical hit both these guys. I really, really would love an iron ingot. We all need to pray for this chat. Just all, all collectively, I know you don't all believe in deities, or or god systems, or whatever it is you don't believe in, but you gotta believe for the sake of this stream, okay? Oh, it's really hard. Okay, I'm gonna stand here, just a little bit further back, and I'm gonna... Okay, we can do this, we just gotta... Nope, that's, that's wrong. There we go. Just make that a little bit better, and then we can move the counter. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm moving right now. Just move the counter tiny bit that way too. Okay, is that better chat? <laughs> or is that significantly worse? Whew. I've only uh, got about 120 diamond blocks my long term world, trying to get about 500. 120 diamond blocks is a lot. I guess maybe not. I think I'm thinking like before diamond inflation was a thing. But um, also what is that block? Is that a slime block? Oh, it's, yeah, it's just a slime block in the dark. It looked like I, it looked like something I'd never seen before because of the darkness. Also, how did you spawn here? Oh, I guess probably probably spawned here because these these fall down on the outside of the fence. That's something we should consider. Why are the fours weird on the zombie counter? Oh, the the, the um the font I I use is just really strange, um like that. How about we just change the font on the counter? We make it um. Barn shrift light. There you go. Now it's... No, no, it's got to be condensed. You know what? Maybe if we put it in, like, uh... In bold. That will No, why Why does it suck so bad? I don't even... Okay, we're gonna... Uh, move it back. I don't understand why they do the fours with the hole in there. If that's what anyone wants. Also, um... I, uh... I'm, gl I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far, chat. I am enjoying it, too. But mostly I'm enjoying this sweet, sweet 
Iron ingot that we all know is going to appear. We're all aware of that fact. Okay, this is dangerous. Crafting in the center. Okay, I don't have the, don't have the blocks for it. Because I want to keep the fence going. Uh, yeah, should we just? Is that the better place to put it? Yeah, a little, little gap just behind the stairs is safer than. Sorry, yeah, a gap like this way from the stairs is safer than a gap that way. Because this way I can't get snuck up on, but that way I could. Um, I might make these walls taller later for fun, but this way they allow me to do a little bit of archery. <laughs> Although, I, actually, if I make a little portal from them, like a hole, I can do something cool with that too. So, uh, I've explained cat has no leggings because mobs spawn armor from the top down. So it's rare to get a mob with armor from more than chest plate and helmet. You have boots because they're the easiest armor to craft. Ah, so always craft from the bottom up in a super flat survival. Again, I, I like all the mechanics of Minecraft we're slowly picking up, even if slightly by accident in some cases. Do. 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 Um, okay, what, what we got here? Are we good? I think we're good. We got a, we got a zombie. And now we got another another number. I Mostly I'm just excited for the four to go away. Because I get a lot of comments about the fours on stream. So whenever we reach a four, you know, four at the end of the number, not a big deal. Four at the start of the number, or, you know, in the middle of the number, you can be getting a lot of comments about that one. So yeah, we'll leave the... The creeper bee. That's actually a dangerous idea. Let's murder you. Yeah, we need to go chop down some trees um, before the day ends. So I can make some more slabs. And so I can also make some more swords. And also some chests, because like you can see the mess that we've created here. So let's let's deal with it. Let's chop down a tree. Actually, I'm like midway through chopping down all of these trees. <laughs> Super flat turned out to be a really interesting challenge, says Doorbell Prod. Yeah, I'm really surprised by that. I um I do have to admit. I was I am I am pleasantly surprised by the actual challenge and difficulty posed here. And not not challenge and difficulty, but by the the actual like solutions we're trying to find. Your current location was uh minus 140, 140 when you said the anti-four propaganda. Ooh, looks I'm starting to think that Toy Cat is in bed with Big Four, and is actually pretending to be against it, so he can uh, he can control the discussion. I don't think Toy Cat is actually anti Weird Fours, which has healed themselves. But he did it so quickly, right? The one that killed me. I didn't. Know. It's strange. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop in and I'm gonna grab some fences. Oh no, this is a bad idea. A, a creeper will fall down. It's a matter of time. And then I'm going to make a couple swords. Because we're going to go through some of those. And just, yeah, I think this area... I think we should leave it on the inside, but accessible from the outside, right? I don't know if this is actually a smart idea. Now that I've done it, it seems a little bit less smart. Just kill him with a fist, because I want to build up my arrow supply. Um, also kill you with a fist. Try to get over that 250 number, and it'll be good. So I can't make an iron sword, trust me, it'll be worth it. What do we reckon, chat? Should we trust that one idiot? I'm not being mean to him, that's his username. Should we trust that one idiot? On the one hand, you know, like, he is called that one idiot. On the other hand, he makes a very good point. It's probably at some point in his life. Uh, you missed my early super chat, says MJPTP4351. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, uh, I, I, I saw some someone else, though, that you've been spamming that in chat. Like, it's, it's all good. There are, there are, like, easier ways to get a message across than to, to spam, right? But, uh, I, I totally appreciate if you're having an issue that you feel like you paid for something you didn't get. Uh, thoughts on dessert pizza? Is that a UK thing? Oh, I like dessert pizza. It's pretty good, man. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, like, I feel as though, um, I feel as though, oh, man. I feel, I feel as though we need sand just to make this into gunpowder at some point. I mean, make it into TNT. We obviously have gunpowder. That's not our problem. We need to turn the gunpowder into something useful. Yeah, the slime spawning up there, I really don't like. I, uh, 
I really, I really am not a fan of it. Make iron bars. Oh yeah, I now have access to a new recipe. That is exciting. We can make iron bars. You hear that, internet? We can officially make iron bars. Uh, no, iron swords are not worth it. I guarantee you won't get any iron and get profits of them. You know, Charles ZP, I'm starting to think you're not that one idiot, because I agree with what you're saying. Make iron trap doors, it's good. <laughs> I that that would be the ultimate flex. Spending six hours getting iron. It's actually more like fifteen hours by now. Spending spending hours and hours and hours getting iron and then going, eh, I'll make a trap door. <laughs> that's the that's the real flex. Yeah, I wanna I wanna have a source of light. I want I wanna get enough witches to spawn in that I can Also, why is it going down in spawn rates? I must have accidentally had some mobs spawn over there or something. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. If we stand like a, there's there's gotta be an ideal distance that we can stand to make this work. Because right now, nothing. Yeah, we'll we'll go in for the day, because again you can see how that, that llama, for example, does exist. He's taking up the not the hostile mob cap, cap, but he's taking up a mob cap. And so it's worth uh, thinking about. Also, these guys, I, I know they don't drop um, they don't drop emeralds unless they're in a raid. But I want to, like, show that that is true. Okay, we got this effect again. Oh, we died and that's why we lost it, right? So now we used up all of our arrows on these guys. Uh, as you can see, I kill them. They can give me crossbows, which is nice. They can give me- I got my Illager banner, but they don't drop emeralds, uh, sadly. I- I want them to drop emeralds. It, in my mind, they drop emeralds too. I'm not- you're not alone on thinking that they do. But it's just the way that things be. Villagers sell lanterns, that could be a light source once you get some. Yeah, I can really move up in the world once the villagers are here. But again, there's a lot of steps between me and villagers. Part of the fun, uh, some would say. Uh, is the fact that there's lots of steps between me and villagers. But, um, yeah, Wandering Traders do sell water, though. I wish they'd sell lava and not water. I just... <laughs> that feels like the more logical thing. They do drop emeralds? Not that often. No, not unless they're part of a raid. See? Yeah, I I love this. I, 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 I'm I glad that... Uh, like, on the one hand, it's sometimes annoying when people repeat a fact that seems like it's true. But on the other hand, it's like, yes, I felt that exact same thing. It does seem logical that they should drop those. I'm glad that we all agree. Um... But sadly, they they do not, despite the logic that would suggest otherwise. Um, so yeah, we're going to craft ourselves a crafting table that isn't in the middle of the kill zone. <laughs> uh, right here, where I've got nice visibility, in case something does go wrong. And we're going to craft slabs, and we're going to cover this area up. Uh, because I don't think it should be showing... You know, it's pretty, it's pretty amoral the way it's showing itself right now. Anyway, so... Also, um, in, in Java, you can create a super flat entirely out of sand. No, no, you TNT. monster. Um, also, uh, Anastasia, yeah, I love the Java super flat creator. It's one of the tools that should come to Bedrock. Um, like on, they made it work for console, which was amazing, but sadly they haven't made it work for Bedrock yet. Uh, I say yet because I'm very, I'm very hopeful that they will make it work eventually. Maybe too hopeful, some would say. Some would say not hopeful enough. So yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a chest specifically for the arrows. Uh, sorry, for the bows, because the bows can be used later to craft um, dispensers. I don't think we will use them to craft dispensers. <laughs> if I'm leveling with you, but like so so we can have like some semblance of organization. That's what we're gonna do. Yo, toy cat, come to my block and let's play MCG. That's a good idea. I will do that immediately. Try oh, oh, I thought that was an ingot. I was excited for a second. I mean, I can still be excited, but not not the same amount of excited. Like we we've got a lot of gold armor that we can smelt down, except we don't have a smelter. And uh, yeah, it's it's a thing. So uh, didn't they say it would be added like three years ago? It's a lot more than three years ago now, friend. It's a lot more than three years ago now. To be fair, supposedly I've spoken to some people who work on Bedrock. The way that the team works there is kind of conducive to not as big overall individual features. Because it's lots of sub-teams working on small things. Um, you know, I, I know like, oh gosh, okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna run in there, and I'm just gonna let's let's a couple zombies dead. Uh, I got an iron sword, by the way. Whoa, first iron sword. For those of you who've been asking, we finally have one. I figured, you know, uh, if anyone joins the stream just now. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh wait, actually, I want to have my wooden sword out too, just in case anyone enjoys the stream right now. I wanna, I wanna confuse them. Okay, are we ready for this? Okay, we're ready. So wow, chat. You know what? I was skeptical about spending two iron making a, uh, making an iron sword, but you, you guys were good with that recommendation. This iron sword has served me well. It's sad that it's gonna go now and that iron's gone to waste, but all the mobs that we killed of it. It was really useful, right? Wasn't it good? Wink, wink, chat. Oh, joke that we are all involved in. Okay, there we go, we're good. See, someone was confused for about five seconds there. They're like, whoa, 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 what do you mean, so cat? <laughs> and, uh, for that reason, it is entirely worth it. I hear a zombie spawning behind me. And now I see him dead. Ooh, um... Another zombie. I'm going to actually use the science sword if I'm not careful, which isn't a particularly big deal. But it's not ideal. Wait, what? Says the one and only Bryce. Exactly. There we go. We got him. We got him, boys. So I can't the best flex, flex would be a stack of handles. Oh, I can't even imagine the, the process. I mean, I can actually imagine it. I just It would be very long, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, I've got some illegit banners. Yeah, I'm just picking up, picking up nonsense at this point, really. Uh, chat, what do you reckon about the four in the zombies killed number? Do you have issues with it? Would you like to tell me about those issues? I sure bet you would. Feel free to do so. It's the sword we're putting in there. And then in here, we're going to put our mop drops. Because we have too many. I actually like the arrows being out. Everything else, though, we can throw up here. Kill the creeper. We'll kill the zombie through the wall, I think. Like, we don't need to go through there. And we do want mobs to spawn, so just let the zombie come over. Go, go, nice. Wake me up before you go, go, because I would like some iron, and I will po po, or I'll call the po po. How's the iron farm coming along? Says Pony Pale Productions. I think this actually is the most effective iron farm you can have in Super Flat until we get water, and even then, it's the same premise we're gonna have to use. But this is the most effective iron farm Bedrock has. And it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. Um, the four should be Comic Sans, nothing else, just the four. <laughs> See, now that is a good idea Ainsley tries to animate. You should be in charge of my graphics department. Ah, because you because you know how to animate. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll put my tools back up here. I have a lot of string that's building up. I have gunpowder. I can use string for some interesting things, right? I can make tripwire hooks with... I can make uh, fishing rods too. So that's going to be useful. Like fishing rods, eventually I'll be fishing enough fishing rods that I don't need to. But yeah, there's going to be some real exciting movement we get once this cauldron comes in. It's going to be amazing. No, 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 no. Okay, we don't want the skeletons killing the zombie. We will go through extreme efforts to stop that happening. No, okay, it's fine. I, I killed him. I killed the zombie. We're great. Also, the, the, the zombie the skeleton just killed another creeper. So, like, genuinely inadvertently, we're collecting enough of the music discs to do something interesting with. Uh, I think we should go back to base and put our stuff away. I think that's a good idea. When you get water, you should make a drowning trap, because in Bedrock, zombies drop their equipment with full durability when they are drowned. Um, in Bedrock, they... Yeah, yeah, and then you can... Uh, and then we'll be able to actually use, like, iron armor in some cases and stuff like that. It'll be be pretty fun, right? Yeah, we've got too many music discs. <laughs> it's starting to become a problem. Um, we've got Illager banners. Uh, we're going to start collecting those, too, it's, it seems. Uh, that's going to be an inevitability. Uh, put my crossbow away. Put my string and my uh, gunpowder away. And then let's use the bone mill just to get a few more carrots, because I, I think I think having those seems like a smart move. Having food is good. This is Toy Cat's controversial opinion today. You'll need to grind three more iron when you're done for a bucket. But while I'm grinding for the bucket, I'll at least be doing two things at once. Because while I'm grinding for the bucket, the cauldron will be slowly filling and like progress will be being made, right? 
No reason to save the bow. It's because you can't make dispensers because you can't get cobblestone. It says J Dog is best. Is that true? I think that is true, yeah. Maybe we could use them for like uh, mass unenchantments later. Yeah, we could probably make a grindstone. Like we can't actually make an enchantment table, so we can't use the experience. But we can we can disenchant them, right? So that's that's a fun idea that we now have. Okay, so let's let's craft some slabs so we can finish up this kind of like centering of the area. It's a lot of slabs to be made, a lot of slabs to be placed. But the end result is it becomes a more creeper-proof area too, which just feels like good business, right? So again, we'll do this from the outside inwards. Uh, get some real nice progress here. Avoid the creeper, even if he even if he hits me now, it's not a big deal. So. Keep on placing. Keep an eye on noises because that is going to happen every ca every now and then. Skeletons are worth killing with a bow. They drop arrows anyway, so it's about a neutral activity if there ever was one. There's a zombie just up ahead. There's two zombies up ahead. That's what I like to see. Zombie dead. And zombie dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think this next iron ingot is going to take me a lot longer than the previous ones. I think that's something I should just accept right now. Like, emotionally get over that fact, and then we'll be a happier person. Like, obviously, I would like them to go faster. Sure, that's 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 normal. Okay. So that that witch is going to be a re uh, another little point to deal with. But it's fine. Get another death. That zombie's holding strings. We're just going to run through the zombie to get to the witch. Ouch. He's going to poison me. She's going to poison me. Oh, spider eye. That's not what I wanted at all. Usually, I, I was hoping for some glowstone dust. The first time I get glowstone will make up for that one torch that I lost. Kind of unnecessarily. So I'm like, I'm actually very excited for it. It's like, it's going to be my redemption arc. And again, we're, we're learning from our mistakes and we're killing, uh, we're trying to kill mobs outside of the zone so that we still have maximum spawn rate while we do. We're also trying to place our slabs because that's what we're deciding to do here. And it's nice. Ooh, which is the scariest mob late game, Lamal says Joe Cap. Even now, right? Like, every other mob is dying in one hit because we have a farm set up to deal with that. But it's not set up to deal with witches because they're just not a common enough drop. I mean, mob spawn. Oh, he's he dropped onto the fence, so he's gonna have tons of health. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. We might need to place the fence further back in some areas. Especially here, yeah. This needs to go just a full black block backwards, I think. Oh, that's a death we didn't get to take advantage of. When you get water and somehow lava, make a cobble generator, I'm gonna make cobblestone. See, the, the keyword there was somehow, right? Oh, he's got a lot of health. Also another music disc. <laughs> I guess we'll get the full collection. I mean, we might as well. What's to stop me? One zombie, two zombie, three zombie, Oh, that's a lot of zombie deaths, huh? Uh, are you gonna die too? Yeah, why not? Why not? Just just get it done. While we're here, have a little more zombie murder. Okay, so this block is a problem because it's gonna actually have mob spawning if I'm not diligent in removing it. Uh, yeah, do, being in the inside of this is actually very scary. Not, not recommended in the slightest. Whew. Um... When COVID was bad, I got a bunch of tests. I used one, and now four or five are just constantly, uh, just constantly get in my way. I, uh, I totally agree with the thing of like, too much stuff is a big problem. I have a, uh, I have a friend who has a relative that always buys them so much stuff. Like they just, that relative just thinks that the way they can be nice is to help them avoid a living expense. So they'll just buy one thing in bulk for them. Like, um, they'll buy them, like, enough pasta to last a year. Like, you know, 20 packets of pasta, like the giant ones. Because pasta can last forever. Um, or, you know, some other version of this, just like, here is enough of something you need to last forever. But this, like, actually storing something big is a real cost we don't consider. Like, you know, when you buy a house or rent a house or like live in a room maybe is the more relatable version of those two things 
But um, like when you have you have a space, right? This if the space is big, you have more space. If the space is small, you have small space. And we think about it then, but we never think about it again. That like every tiny item that you keep holding onto, like uh, on my desk here, I've got this. I've got this USB Wi-Fi dongle because my PC doesn't have um, Wi-Fi. It's always wired because, like, there's, there's like it's it's uh, it, you know it's a it's a workhorse PC. There's no reason it would be not wired. But like, just in case the wired connection doesn't work and I need to like steal something off my phone or if my neighbors, are, whatever else it is, I've got this little thing. But it's been sitting there for six years since I moved into my old house and I moved it here too because it's like an emergency thing. And like the cost of pre preventing that emergency, like the the time I do need it, I'm gonna be amazed that I have it. It's gonna be great. Also, they do keep dropping on this fence. It's a big problem. Um, but yeah, the uh, the one time that this thing actually saves me is gonna be massively outweighed by all of the consequence of holding on to it for all of this time. Um, and a lot of people don't think about uh, that. I don't think that to you know, like, I, I know even something, people who travel with, um, like, an emergency first aid kit or whatever, like, that's actually a smart thing. But, like, when you travel with every medication known to man, just in case you get it, and it's like, everywhere you're going, you can find that medication. It will cost you more money, but the space is worth the, the, the space that you are saving is worth the money, right? Like, the... One of the biggest things people spend money on is their house and therefore their space. And so why would you not make a micro decision to not spend, I don't know, to, you know, sp spend $6 the one time you do need to get some emergency pills rather than spending $2 now and hoping that you get sick while you're traveling, which is what I, I can only imagine people are doing. For that to be a justifiable decision. That's that's my that's my hot take. Uh, Mr. Toy Cat, I've been watching you... Um, Every day for about a week. Thank you for helping me through a hard time. No, thank you for helping me through a hard time. I mean, you might think whatever you're going through is hard, but have you ever tried to... Uh, did I chop down one piece of wood and then just come back? No, I've already made it into stuff. That's why. Um, you might think whatever you're going through is hard, but have you ever tried to, to, to sit and kill mobs repeatedly until you get iron ingots? Because I'm starting to think... No, I'm, I'm joking, but... I hope things get better. Thank you so much for, um, thank you so much for the touching message. It's, 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 it's it means a lot to me, um, that, like, my thing is helping you in any way. Um, okay, so if you cure a zombie, it will spawn with a profession. Also, so mobs can spawn on slime blocks? Did you see that? Those mobs actively, oh, no, I'm gonna die again, no! Okay, those mobs actively spawned on the, uh, on the thing, right? There's so many zombies and I need to kill them. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be very careful about this. Zombies in boats are extra Mr. dangerous. Mr. Cat, someone just said mushrooms glow at light level one. I'm pretty sure that's actually a thing. Um, is that a thing? Thank you so much, Anastasia Crawford, for uh, sending their message onwards some more. Um... I, uh, I've never heard of that. Like, I, or I've heard of it, I guess. But I, and like, I've seen it, but I, I still don't know if it's real, which is the weirdest thing to say. Oh, wow, that baby zombie's just gonna keep moving from zombie to zombie, huh? And then eventually he goes for me. Oh, don't like this at all. No, 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 no! Ah! Every time! <laughs> it's always some crazy stuff that happens in a row. In that case, a skeleton spawned behind me because slime blocks can spawn mobs, which is, like, they shouldn't be able to in my mind, but they can. Uh, as long as my, my iron ingot is still in there. <sighs> okay, we're fine. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna reassess. We're gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to this stronger, harder, faster, whatever. Whew. Rip, rip, rip me. Rip me, right? Um... Noth nothing more stressful than being on like... Because, you know, usually when I'm on half a heart, I at least know it's my decision. In this world, it really is just like, nah, you are... You are always a, a potential bad point. You'll get iron within the next 10. You can kill wandering traders for the milk bucket to get a bucket. Please consider it. Uh, you cannot do that. Um, I, uh, I, I... It sounds like a thing you can do. 
and that's because on one of the versions of Minecraft it is. But, as we all know, Minecraft has some other versions. You hear about this wacky bedrock thing? I've heard about this wacky bedrock thing. Um, if I had money, I'd give it all to you, Mr. Toycat. That would be a bad financial decision. I see why you don't have money. <laughs> no, more seriously, thank you. For... You know what, no, actually, no. I, I, I'm actually gonna say that's not even a nice gesture. Like, that's such a meaningless, like, I, 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 like, obviously you're saying this to an internet person, so like, I'm not, like, I'm not mad. It's like, it's fine. You can, you can say meaningless gestures all the time. You can say like, you know what, Toy Cat, if I were in person, I'd buy you a, 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 a Big Mac with large fries and I'd, I'd, I'd jump around and, you know, date my cousin for you, Toy Cat. You can say whatever dumb things you want to say, although it's probably for you in that last case. But, um, like, uh, you know, the, 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 the annoying thing, because, like, I, that, that is, like, I, I, I hear that in real life quite a lot. And it genuinely grinds my gears so badly. Like, no, you, you can't say, oh, yeah, if I had a lot of this, then I would totally do that. That's just saying, oh, yeah, yeah, in some, in some world, that's fun. It's like, no, the point of life, the whole struggle is that we are dealing with finite resources and time and every, time, money, everything else. And we're trying to make that work. If you say, yeah, if I, if I had unlimited money, I'd give you some. Is of course, of course you would. Even, even, even though like that's like a less, that's just like saying if I had a, it, it's like no, 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 no. The, the challenge is, you know, um, like if, if you think to yourself, yeah, if I was a millionaire, I'd give to charity. No, 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 no. Then nine-year-old says, uh, Myra, the, you know what? When I was nine years old, you know what I did? I played Minecraft. Don't fact check the reality of that, because I'm twenty. I'm twenty-six. But you know what? When I was nine years old, I was probably playing Minecraft. Uh, no, the potato. <laughs> Tried to get a witch for potions and glowstone. Off to work today. Love the series. Reminds me of the console days. Yeah, I do love the. It, it does have that little bit of a vibe to it, right? Also, we're at six ingots. I, I, Airbus. We are still on six ingots. That is uh, the place we have landed at. It's very crazy, but it's it's hard. I realize you're right on better conditions and work. Sometimes I hate better condition. There's so many weird things that shouldn't be one version exclusive, but are. Because Mojang, as we all know, is a... You know, it's funny, because Mojang used to be the example of, like, the biggest indie company that existed. Like, they straddled the line of, like, can you still call yourself an indie company? But now that it's, like, part of the world's most, you know, like, uh, not... World's most capitalized company, right? Largest market cap. cap. Um, it's a little, little bit less of a fun comparison. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, chop down the tree fully. Just cause I, I keep running out of wood and having to craft more. So let's just have enough wood that that's not a concern. I, uh, but no, yeah, I, like, you know, I, I think a lot of people say like, oh yeah, I can't do that thing, I'm broke. Um, but obviously what they're actually doing in the same time is they're spending an equal amount of money, if not greater, on other things throughout the course. And like, other, like... I think in some cases, like, that is totally reasonable. Like, if you are living, you know, edge to edge all the time, then yeah, of course, like, you... But, like, the, the I'm broken, I can't do a thing is the easiest cop-out of just saying, oh, yeah, I don't want to do the thing. And, like, that should be more socially acceptable to say, maybe, so we can just all be honest and, like, actually share feelings and whatever else. But, uh, yeah. It's like, you know, I don't have time is, uh... Like it's it's got truth to it. It's in it's better than something else. But uh, the the problem with I don't have time is like no, you have tons of time right now. You have time. You're using it to watch a Minecraft live stream. Thank you by the way. I really appreciate it. Like ge genuinely, this is this is nice that we're spending time together as we're on a flat world. You know, there's not not a lot of, lot lot not a lot else to do in this world while we desperately wait for a zombie to finally drop the <laughs> the thing that we need. But, um, yeah, I, uh, like, you have time. You're just, it's what you're saying is my time-spending priorities do not include this thing in which you have asked me to do. And that's at least kind of implicit there. But with I'm broke, like, you don't know enough about someone's finances to give them the rundown of what it is. And, like, you know, maybe maybe that person actually, like, when someone says they're broke, they genuinely might believe that they are at the point where, also, we have to place a torch here or place bedrock under it. Or I, what do we do about this chat? How do we stop this from being mob spawny? 
because I don't want it to... Do we put a fence around it? Like, I don't even know. If everyone's completely honest, we'd all hate each other, says Anastasia Crawford. Um, yeah, I maybe that's, that is that is a big part of it, I, I think. I think some of the reasons that, like, I think there's a lot of, like, accidental camaraderie built into things that makes us all like each other more. Also, why is the farm not working? Is it the, the you know, if the farm's not going to work for a bit, we'll use that as an opportunity to craft the snaps we need. I don't know why it's not working, but it's fine. Not, not a big deal. Um, like I was thinking today about, um, like, uh, so I was at a pub for, uh, on Sunday for, uh, to watch some, some people race around a track 50 something times, uh, in very expensive cars and, <laughs> and, uh, you know, like mi watching millionaires race around a track in, in the Middle East while claiming to support global equality or whatever else. But, um, so I was, uh, I was, I was watching, I was watching this and, I the I was a little bit annoyed um, because uh, they the way they like th this is a, a common concept where it's like it's two for one on all drinks and you're like that's cool I'm gonna say I'm you know it's basically half price right but then they then they charge double as much uh, or almost double as much I wouldn't say quite double in the case of these uh, ones but they charge double as much and so what they're effectively saying is instead of get two drinks for the price of one. It's get two drinks for the price of two, or get one drink drink for the price of two. You can pick, <laughs> right? That's that's what they're saying. Like, uh, you know, no no one is no one is choosing twelve pounds fifty for a cocktail, unless it's two for one. And so, um, you know, like that kind of force, like you get to feel like you're doing a really nice thing for a friend if you're dumb, or if they're dumb and they don't know about the maths and that. Like, wow, you you're telling me I can buy two cocktails and get you one for free. And then you can you can do the same for me. Wow, we are gaming the system here. Like it's it's a very it's it's subtle, but it does feel like it's like happening on some internal level, even if not externally. Um, oh, so we're about to hit the big three hundred, huh? Why did the mobs stop spawning and then just start all up again? Um, Mr. Toycat, I don't want to give you money because I'd rather save it than spend it on an internet cat. See, right? That's at least honest. At least we can work with that. You know, it's like I I don't intend to. Like I I vow. I think that you are capable of making your own spending decisions, and if like, if that includes not, uh, you know, tipping things you like on the internet, that's like that's fine. I I can see why that's a common thing for people to be like, well, it'd be really silly to spend money on that, and it's like, well, if, if to you that's true, a lot of people like find that supporting things is great, but like I I totally like that, it's it's totally fine if that doesn't include you. If you if you've never tried it, try it with another streamer, not me, of course, because otherwise. Something, something, conflicting interests. But like you, you might just enjoy it. You might find it's your thing. Maybe you won't, and okay. So there's like three zombies that haven't showed up yet. Um, but uh, I uh, I won't give you money because I think there are better causes. Not true. There's uh, you might hear about like starving children, but think about it. Starving children getting essential supplies is exactly the same as me spending your money on soy sauce and then drinking straight from the bottle. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I'm so glad it comes out in such tiny quantities. It's enough to remind me how terrible it is without like actually giving me any issues. Um, speaking of issues, okay. Let's, oh, they actually damaged my armor. Wait, what's he holding? It looks like an iron ingot. Am I crazy? Yeah, it's definitely me being crazy. It's string. Had to had to play me like that zombie, didn't you? Anyway, um. Who needs money? Only rich people uh, have that capper. <laughs> it's true. You know, you want to be a rich person with money, or do you want to be a cool person without it? Anyway, um, now you can miss me to tip. I'll link my grandma's pension pot now and give it all to you. I mean, think about it. Your gram... No, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to dark places. I'm going to be quoted out of context. Someone's going to join right now, and then you go, Toy Cat, why are you arguing that his grandmother's going to get dementia and so that you should give the money to me? Because she's not gonna remember any. But like, you, you, someone's gonna say that, and then I, I can't. It's not okay. So I didn't say that. I'm not saying it. It's okay. You, you hear that's a thing. We're all good. Uh, use carpets. I can't use carpets over the slime. Oh yeah, carpets. That's true. I. Uh, that's a good idea. I'll put some nice carpets on the slime. Thank you for the idea. Okay, it came from Battle Mini Game. They said. So can't. Why are you arguing about dementia? Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a dementia joke. It, man, it's like one of those illnesses that, like, it's so brutal 
And it's like, I don't even know why it makes me, like, you know, I, I don't have any personal, like, relationship with it or anything. It's just, also we get 300 kills, hey? That's fun. That's a reminder as to why we need this farm. Like, imagine doing that exclusively at night. How crazy I would have gone by now. The answer is very crazy. Okay, four zombies. One zombie. Two zombie. Three zombie. Four. Oh, five zombie. Sad. <laughs> Maybe the real one is the friends we made along the way. I'm starting to think that that is true. I'm starting to think that actually the real wine is the friends we made along the way. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna place a few more trap doors. I noticed I was missing a few earlier and that's an important thing to have. It's not gonna be a big difference. Oh God, there are, okay, thank God he fell. So there's, oh, hey there friend, you're gonna have to fall off for me. See, so yeah, he's got four, no, stop dying. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? That was all me, that was all me. I am, I've got a problem with just, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just for my own safety and my own sanity, I'm gonna stop dying. Because that, at this point, it's like taking valuable time that I need to be spending killing, killing mobs, right? Um, so how many deaths is that today? Is that five deaths? Again, it's fine. Because we're getting our, we're getting our thing anyway. It's fine. That was, that was a stupid death. That was a very stupid death. But I wanted to reorganize my inventory anyway. So now I can do that, right? You're, you're welcome, internet. People who wanted my inventory reorganized, we got it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need. Oh, you, you dead? You are dead, that's good to hear. It's just so hard to stop killing mobs, right? Like, it's just, it's just, it's just a challenge. Later we can get like a redstone system. No, we can't get a redstone system because we don't have enough redstone. It'd be cool to make a redstone system. Yeah, let's just wait till he burns in the daylight. Yeah, I'd love to see you try, friend. I'd love to see you try. Um, so we put a bow there. We put that there. We put our food there. For now, it's rotten flesh. Not a good long-term food. Put a shovel there. Put an axe there. And then put my trapdoors. I think I need some more of those. Over here. The zombies, stop it. No! Why do you walk out into the fire, but not the skeletons? I'm. If, there, if there's a mob that deserves to be dumb enough to walk out, it should be the skeleton, right? I'm giving money to keep up the illusion that this is a viable replacement for the face-to-face -face social life I find uncomfortable. Um, I, 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 I feel that on some level, right? It's, um, it is hard to have interactions. I, um, like, uh, it's, it's not even hard necessarily. It's just like, sometimes it's easy to feel, okay, so this, this is just a scary place to be. Unless we've been here for long enough that mobs stop spawning. I say he just fell down. Perfect. We wait for another one to fall down and we're good. No! Why would I? Okay. I'm learning very minor things we can do to help. I think I'm like off my game today. Like I'm... Oh no, I grabbed too many trapdoors, but it's fine. I'm going to use them. Um... Okay. Place the trapdoors. Place the trapdoors. It's not the biggest of differences, I think. I think the spawn locations is more important than the trapdoors. But it's still just extra important to make sure that mobs can fall down when they get here. Because if once a mob falls down, that's another opportunity for another mob to spawn. That's not the correct location for this, but we'll leave that there anyway and just hope that no one thinks about it. And on this side, we'll... Are we good? Yeah, I think we've, we've placed down as many as we can get everywhere else. We don't want to place trapdoors on this side because that's leading to mobs dying on the fence. <laughs> Which, as we all know, not what we want. And so, uh, yeah, we, we got all the little corners done. We need to place more dirt, actually. But I would say that is another issue. So let's 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 do some grinding. I I want there to be more to do than grinding, but I think we kind of have to admit grinding is the big is the big thing we do here. It's the it's where all of this goes. It's our big progress point, and we are making a lot off that progress. So it's fine in that way. These zombies spawned in specifically over there. And so that is fun. We got three of them. That is cool. Uh, no, no, no chain armor though. Crush flavored bomb popsicles are amazing, says uh, James Weston. I'm glad you're enthusiastic about something. I have not had this popsicle that you find so interesting. 
but it does sound very good when you say it that way. Whew, so what is that, two more? You can make charcoal by smelting wood for torches. Oh, that's a really good idea, Gabriel Maranta. So, I'll just throw it in my furnace, shall I? <laughs> yeah, you can see my, my, uh... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna re-center, re rebalance ourselves. How is everyone doing today? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. I, uh, I died, and I'm a little bit flustered from it. But I'm still hoping that things go well enough regardless. And a big part of that plan is that tonight we're going to get an iron. I think, like, statistically... Um... Oh, wow, the sex bots are back on YouTube. It's been so long. I saw, I saw on, like, the name... Like, their thing is just, like, how are you doing? But their message was, like... So then his name was, like, you know, free, free cam live or whatever. It's the weirdest thing, like... The, especially like a game like Minecraft, because regardless of what you or I know about Minecraft and the diverse audience, the type of person who is running a bot probably thinks that Minecraft is a kid's game, right? And the fact that, like, despite that fact, they still will decide to, you know, like, run, you know, like, their bots through a Minecraft stream is kind of mind-blowing once you have that fact in mind, right? That they're doing it in spite... Also, yeah, it's, it's gotta be at night. Some mobs are spawning somewhere. At, like, are they spawning at the edge there? Yeah, maybe if we do a little bit more uh, dirt covering, it'll be fine. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's so weird to me because it's not even like, oh yeah, this is just like a bot that's spamming indiscriminately. There are Minecraft channels. Um, you can see this. If you ever search up Minecraft live streams, it's one of the categories. It's like inappropriate things that Steve and Alex are doing or whatever else. And it's like, man, I, I don't know what that says. You know, like it's not, it's not a comfortable thought about what that says about the type of average, like, I, I don't know. Like, it's like, uh, you know, the Spider-Man Elsa videos, like they clearly worked, right? They clearly showed that there is some... I, I don't, I don't, you know, like, I, I don't know where that must come from. I, I don't, I don't like, um, I, I don't, I don't even want to think about it, but it's like, why, how, how does that even, like, appear in a brain, right? Like, I, I have no clue what it, maybe it is just this thing of, like, you know how, like, you know, children just find swearing inherently interesting, right? Um, like, I, when I was a 10 year old, and I was first exposed to, like, swearing kids. And I was like, whoa, there's these big no-no words, and I can say them, and they... And, like, hearing the response from my parents being like, where did you learn that, or whatever. <laughs> like, hearing that makes you realize, like, wow, these are words of power. Maybe it's just the same thing of just, these are things that people really don't want you to be looking at. Um, but, uh... Like... Knowing that someone really doesn't want you to see something makes you want to see the thing a lot more in a very weird, hard to describe way. I think it's called the Streisand effect because uh, Barbara Streisand, uh, who apparently is a big celebrity from before I was born, she bought a mansion and there was a local newspaper that like, or uh, there was a small website that published uh, that published photos of every thing in the area and they published photos of her mansion and so for privacy she sued them. But the ensuing suit about privacy got so many more people to learn about her mansion because, like, wow, Barbara Streisand's mansion, she's suing about it. Um, and then that, that whole thing led to more people learned about her attempt to hide it than they learned about, um, like, you know, had learned about it through the original source. You know, it wouldn't have gone anywhere if it was just the original source. But because it was someone trying to cover it up, you're like, ooh, what's, what's been... I, you know, like, whenever, whenever you see, like, oh, yeah, there's this really distressing video that we can't show. First thing I do is I'm like, I need to see this really distressing video. Um, I've started to learn against Bro, that recently. Americas, Africa, love your content. Originally found you from your second channel video about the North Korean embassy two years ago. <laughs> and four months after that, I found your first channel. Been following you since Desert Island. Thank you. First of all, I, the, 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 the fact that, like... Those globes are called America's Africa, and it, it's interesting as heck, first of all, by itself. Second of all, uh, it's so interesting how many people have been saying they found the first channel through the second one recently. Like, discoverability is definitely better there. I, I don't... Oh, it's raining zombies! Alleyulia. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we, we broke a whole whole thing there. That's that was amazing. That that was everything I dreamed of. I mean, besides the iron, iron ingot, but like, you know, as far as realistic things I could have hoped for, that was pretty good, huh? That was that was really good. I'm happy. I'm happy of what happened there. Oh, you broke my armor, so now you kind of have to give me a um. He basically has to give me a uh, an, an ingot now, right? Well, apparently not. Apparently, apparently, courtesy is dead. Oh no. Okay, it's not happening. We're gonna be here for a while. So, uh, set buttons on the slime blocks as game today. Oh yeah, it'll probably still work the same. I believe that. Okay, so I don't know where. No, don't burn. Okay, two more zombies bite the dust. Why are zombies so stupid? Also, I really need a sword, but I think I. I'm just gonna wear this gold helmet till it dies. Um, also, good idea. Here. Um, okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, second second ingot is not forthcoming. And also, where did all my wood go? Did I make it into? Uh, yeah, again, we we're in a perpetual stay. No. Oh, so much health. See, right. I don't even know how we have that much health. Uh, that's why we need the sword, just to prevent scary moments like that. Just, just need to prevent it. He has no villagers. Oh, so many zombies again, but this time I don't have the uh, adequate protection against it. Okay, that's fine though. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, we, we have accounted by one. We have to like not do one now to balance that out. Um, graphs are weird. Iron says MCP commander. We're gonna find iron. It's gonna be fine. We have been going for a full 54 minutes since the last one. So if we go at one iron per hour, that means we're gonna get one soon. Uh, trade a set of diamond armor or something of similarly endgame worth for 10 obsidian uh, for continued progression, says Andrew E. Yeah, a lot of people have this fun notion. Like, again, I, I I think that, like, you can play this way if you want to. But it's weird, the idea of, like, yeah, just make up your own trades and then, like, mod it into the game that way. And then it's basically the same as doing it legit. And it's like, nah, we are working with the within the game rules as close as we can. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for 444. Four, four. Squares, squares, squares. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 344 four was a bad place to leave this, huh? Oh yeah, you like the fours chat? Do you like do you like do you like how good they look? It looks so good on the screen, doesn't it? Don't you just wish you had some more of this going on in your life? I had a good day today, by the way. I, I was I was sad because I went to a uh, I went to a market where there were meant to be lobster rolls, but they just weren't open today. So you know that's that's like the biggest sad thing that can happen as far as I'm concerned. But obviously, um, Obviously, uh, outside of that one tragic thing, I had a uh, I had a good day. I got I got some walking in. Uh, it was only like it's been like majorly polluted. There's been like a haze over London for the last few days. That's uh, it's now gone down to like moderate instead of severe air issues. <laughs> you know, think about the small things in life. Um, and uh, so yeah, you get get a little bit of a walk. Not not a big walk because again, try and. I feel like I should watch, watch out my lungs now rather than later. If you make it to the Nether, would there be structures since they're turned off? Uh, the Nether in Super Flat isn't Super Flat because they're, again, it's not a, not as not as cleverly put together a flat as it is on Java. Wasn't the counter out for 600 the other day? Says Corey Flynn. So this is the number we need not to get the. Um, so th this is starting from uh, today. The number we need to get, um, statistically speaking, the number we need to get uh, both the cauldron and the bucket. So 400 more cool, uh, kills, and statistically we'll have that. I think, technically speaking, from this very second, you could argue the statistical number is 480 more. But given that we're going to end up with a, a thing sooner rather than later, I think it's a fine call to make. So what's the iron count now? We're at six iron, Angelo. Uh, pretty. Also, you know, I've decided I am dying enough, whether I like it or not, that I should. I put. I should put my iron away of the rest. 
Also, we get to look at it, right? That's, that's always a fun moment. Also, I can't eat rotten flesh anymore. I just, I can't do this to myself. So let's make some more bone meal. Like a whole, whole stack of it. And let's treat ourselves to good carrots. Or maybe bread. Should we just bread it? Uh, bread is... Yeah, let's, you know, let's, let's treat ourselves to a bit of bread. Let's see, let's see what we feel about it after doing it. Uh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of wheat to make, not a lot of bread. So, that's the thing. I've got that back. Uh, Cat, if you're still here, uh, could you, uh, could you get the, uh, yeah, you got it. Perfect. <laughs> um, Cat's a very nice, uh, mod moderate, it, 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 very kind for moderating the streams. Keeping, keeping things like that under control. It is, it is kind of annoying though, like, YouTube's moderation should be an area where they step up. Because most, but they want people to stream, you know, like, amateurs to get into streaming. But you can't stream actively, like, engage with chat, and also be, you know, like, dealing with stuff like that, right? Like, you need volunteer moderators. Um, and it's kind of nuts that, like, you know, YouTube is the platform that's meant to be all about solving that sort of problem. But instead, they're just like, ah, uh, no. Actually, we've decided that we would rather not. Hope that's fine. Um, okay, so that's a lot of, a lot more wheat. Gonna, gonna make ourselves a lovely, lovely, lovely few pieces of bread now. So we place one wheat in here. Uh, we should be breeding cows or something. Maybe we should breed cows, is it? No, 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 we're not gonna breed cows. We're gonna place the wheat down. Or we should, now we have enough wheat that it is worth considering doing something more with. Uh, but we're not going to. So instead, we're going to craft this into 11 bread. Again, I feel as though having 33 carrots is better than 11 bread. But we'll see how we get on with the 10 breads. This is the best food we can make until we can get fire. Uh, or a furnace. But fire comes before furnace in the tech tree for super flat. Uh, and so yeah, let's do this. What's bone trouser? Unless there's a, some way to get obsidian, enough to get the nether. Somehow lock the portal, there's no chance of cobble here. Yeah, it's tragic. There's literally three different things that work as uh, cobblestone now. There's blackstone and there's deep slate. But still, it doesn't work. But no, to go back to your comment, Ant Antelope, it is crazy how many more people uh, these days seem to find the first channel through the second. Um, like, it, it is fascinating. Okay, we're finally out of the force. We're done with it, chat. Is that a zombie with a sword? Or am I mislooking? I'm mislooking. Misseeing, I guess. Misjudging. Not sure how we say it. Come on. Oh wait, I need to put the iron away. Iron, iron away time. Sorry, sorry to do such long runs like this. Um, oh, you put fences in. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little upgrade. I, I like it. Oh, that means I should also cover this in buttons, right? Um, yeah, let's, let's cover it in buttons. We'll see if it affects. Okay. Can I just place them down? Actually, we can. Do you like my button slimes? Yeah, it doesn't affect the fools at all. It doesn't affect anything. It just stops mob spawning. Um, obviously, we don't want them spawning near our house. That's why we've done that. A modified, a modified version, of version of this challenge that might be fun is put only an end portal frame on the ground plus two ender chests in the bonus chest. You would need to get a diamond pick to get the obsidian to get to the nether. I... Um... I, I actually think, yeah, like, I think there are a lot of fun ways you can modify this challenge. If you want to, I'm, I'm never going to stop anyone from playing around with those themselves. I kind of like pushing the natural limit. So chat, we now have six. We have six iron, which means we can make three iron doors. We can craft iron bars. We could craft two iron pickaxes. Uh, a smithing table for getting that never right going. There's a lot of exciting options we now have available. But I'm going to hold out for the cauldron, if that's okay. As much as we love that iron sword, it's uh, gonna be fine. Nothing can spawn on the slime. I, I figured nothing could spawn on the slime too, but I figured incorrectly. <laughs> That's what I learned. See, I'm also gonna move this fence back a block. It's gonna technically make this not a perfect square. So maybe I should move that back a block too. Yeah, that's what we do. The two fences, which it's annoying because they're like the furthest in. We move those back a block is the solution here. So I'm gonna craft a few more fences and then I'm gonna because I, I need to place some over here anyway like to connect this a bit better um, actually no we'll, we'll leave the the fence hole on this side I think oh wow 
Yeah, do you see that? Like, so many mobs are falling. Like, that That was just a waste of a zombie right there. That could have been the zombie that would have dropped an iron uh, ingot. But now he's not going to. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move the fence back a block. A little bit frustrating till we do, to just kind of do stuff. But it's totally fine. Did I press the button? I think I did. What does zombie villager trapping uh, look like? Um, or will you trap a witch? I have to trap both a zombie villager and a witch. And then trap them close enough that they like mess with each other without hurting me. It's it's a hard one to pull off, I think. But it's going to be worth it. Okay, so remove all of these fences first. Uh, and then go in there and shoot the witch. I mean the skeleton. Oh, that was almost twice in a row that he like knocked me out of the view of the thing. Would have been frustrating, huh? Now we remove all of this and we're going to replace it with... Uh, oh, okay. Are we good? We're good. One, two. Should be using a sword, really. It's 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 definitely laziness at this point to use a sword. But you better believe we, we've done much worse things for laziness. And so now we move this just a block, block backwards. Um, what do you call a deer with no eyes? Um... Still a deer because there's no eyes in the letter deer. <laughs> Whenever you like, what do you call a igloo of no? Wait, and what do you call a dog with no eyes? Wait, what do you call? What do you call a pig with no eyes? A, a, oh no, it's a fish. That's the original joke. And then it's like it's a fish. Um, Steve. That's now that's that's a good answer. I hope I killed him. Do you think I killed that one chat, or do you think I'm like genuinely not sure? Uh, how I would know for sure whether I killed him or not. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. In the long run. So this is three zombies dead. We got an iron ingot, though. We do not have an iron ingot. Yeah, we, we are making, like, big inroads into that number. Like, it was such a scary number seeing, like, 600 or whatever last time. But the fact that we're actually moving very, very heavily towards it. Is something I wasn't fully expecting. I don't know what I was expecting in its place. But it's, it's still weird to see. It's still very weird to see. Should I, uh, should I just start drinking the potions when I'm, like, threatened and it will, like, help me move on, chat? No idea. Ah, no idea is what you would call a deer with no eyes. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you for your high-quality joke, internet. Uh, bring back Bone Trousel. It is a high quality. No, 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 no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him either. Okay. Now you guys can kill each other. No issues with me. <laughs> no issues with me whatsoever. So now we remove all of these dirt blocks, replace them with slabs. Uh, which moves them a little bit closer to my stuff. A little bit. A little bit closer than I'd like them to be. Also, OG Toy Cat Tax, I guess you could say. I've been committing tax fraud. Keep up the great work. I. You know what? Cat. Cat and tax doesn't really work quite perfectly, but what I do like is that, yeah, thank, thank you very much for the tip. I really appreciate it. Thank you for paying the toy cat tax. Everyone's favorite tax, because it's actually optional. Or is that just what they tell you? Is that what they tell you? There's no way to be sure. Um, yeah, this, this challenge is really insane. As I, like, I've killed over, like, a hundred and something zombies since the last iron, nugget, iron ingot drop. And it's really now starting to hit me, just... Like, we're hoping for this tiny, tiny chance. But we're hoping for it, like, time after time after time again. Oh, I think I actually... You know, we can we can move that around later. Okay, so... All the way across here. It's gonna join with my, f my slabs in a funny way, actually. So it might be worth even... Just to prevent that being so ugly. Move the crafting table somewhere. Oh no, am I replacing it down on the same blocks? No, I'm not. This is fine. Okay. Oh, that was scary. Imagine over all that work to like chop it down. Then realize you've, you've just done it wrong. Thankfully, that's not a feeling I understand right now. Howdy, Toy Cat. Howdy, ah. Toy Cat. I thought you had seven iron ingots. I think missed something in between work meetings. Here is I'm your allowance. I'm at six. I'm, I'm so close to seven. I'm, I'm, I'm going for a lot of zombies... To, I'm, I'm killing a lot of zombies to get there, but I'm not at seven yet, sadly. I'd like to be at seven. Also, don't, like, zombies are meant to have this, like, amazing range they can see you at. 
But in this case, at least, it does not work that way. Oh, we now have a zombie for every day of the year. How do you like that, Internet? We've killed as many zombies as there are days in the year. It's also possible I have an iron ingot that I just am not storing in the correct chest. I would like to believe that's true, because then I'd have... Uh, I'd be there in a better way. Uh, okay, let's let's go. Ooh, let's go. Wait, I have a question. Do you still have your pogo sticks as Peyton Wine Garner? I can't believe you know about my pogo stick. <laughs> I do still have a pogo stick, yeah. I, um, I haven't used it in a very long time. Like, I live on, like, slightly less than flat ground right now. And pogoing was hard enough on very flat ground. Um, so maybe it's just me being wise. Also, for every time we get this many, so many zombies, I guess we should expect this to happen, but it's also so depressing. Hope you are well, heart. Hey, Sarah Burke! Wow, it, it has been a while. I, I'm glad you hope I'm well, because I am. You know what would make me more well, though, is if your good luck, uh, your, your reappearance. Oh, is that a music disc over there? It is. Uh, as if your reappearance resulted in an iron ingot drop. That would make me many happies. Uh, it's not gonna happen. It seems. But it was nice to believe at least. So let's go pick up all the arrows. Yeah, I mean, at the very least. At the very least, you could- Oh, okay. At the very least? Oh, it's scary just to be here. Like, a creeper is gonna drop and blow me up. It's almost a- almost a certainty. Is it possible to turn your game brightness up? I can barely see the dark areas, says Cheesy Table. Yeah, I do think uh, it's like a, a bit of a, a downer. Like, Minecraft should be brighter at night for, like, you know, YouTube stuff. I, uh, I, I, I recommend turning up your screen brightness. I, I know that's like, sucks. Like, that's not the ideal outcome. You want me to be able to just, like, flip it up. But, uh, turn up, turn up your screen brightness is the best way. Seems like it's going to take 365 days to get the last ingot, says James Weston. The worst bit is, is even off that, even off the next ingot, we still then have to do the big grind to get the one after. You know, I've changed my mind. I really do think it's 120 drop and we, it's not just weird or broken or bugged on bedrock. And we did just get really lucky for the first two. Because we now have killed enough zombies to get three iron ingots. And how many have we got? Two? Right. Wait, since we started the zombie kill counter, how many ingots have we got in chat? I actually, you know, I've, I think we've gotten three. Maybe four. You know, I don't even know. I'm that, I'm that lost. Um, it must have been... No, I don't even know. Can you make more redstone torches? Sadly not. We're just living under the moonlight right now. Honestly, it's not even more effective at night. We can just go to sleep. Let's just treat ourselves to some sleep. Um... Yeah, I, I think at least during the day. And then we can, like... We can let some light deliberately flow through or something. There's some fun ideas. Uh, oh, there's, see, there's zombies over here. See, these zombies were taking up the spawn cat. I'm going to take advantage of their existence, of course. Get a couple more zombies on the kill counter. But, uh... Yeah. It's only been two it since the counter started. Four... Man, okay, so it's been four. So that means we could go all the way up to 600 before we get the magic fifth one. Like, obviously, we could go well past 600. Here's the funny thing. We could kill zombies here till the end of time. And statistically, that chance isn't guaranteed to come up, right? Because that's how statistics work. It's just endless series of odds. Um, but the hope is that if we did sit here till the end of time, it would come up anyway. What will the cauldron be for, says Cassie Kaiser. Uh, we put the cauldron out, and then we have to wait till rain spawns. When the rain happens... Oh, hello there, zombie. See, why did he still die? Is it because we have... Um... Yeah, we have them coming off the side there, which is kind of a waste. Yeah, that, that's actually just an immediate we should fix that right now sort of thing. Because... Um... Okay, so we're going to get back up to full health, by the way. Uh... While that's there, there's just a few zombies who are being wasted. Because they could... Oh, wait, no, these ones. Yeah, we, we get rid of these. Because otherwise the zombie would be able to... Actually, these these ones are more questionable. Or marginal, at least. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Everything's okay. Uh, so we're going to go up another level, just to, like, proof of concept. Even though we haven't finished this level fully. I guess we'll finish this level fully. 
That's the minimum we can do. And we're gonna see if there's any dramatic improvement in the uh, in the mob camping, I guess. I would hope that there would be. I don't know if I imagine that there will be, but it's nice to believe, right? So place some over here. From these, we can place a block over here. And yeah, once we finish the third layer, we'll just move straight up to a fourth. I think I think breaking up like big grinds like this is important. With like a tiny efficiency improvement here, a little little poke there, just these tiny things. I think they're important. Um. Could fishing be beneficial, says uh, Andrew E. Yeah, no, uh, so like, obviously a fishing villager, when we can get that stage done, will be really great, if that's what you mean by fishery. But if you mean like, have a little fish thing going on, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be an instrumental part of our success. So now, we're going up about as high as the farm can realistically go for most of it. In fact, this might even be like, cause for spiders to spawn a ton, so we're gonna, gonna be extra careful on that. But still, just the, the idea of having a fourth level starting is nice. And then just a few few blocks that can sustain it. We're gonna make sure, oh, should not have that there. I wondered why the uh, baseball kept getting bigger, then it hit me. Thank you for the dad joke, Ponytail Productions. But yeah, no, Sarah Burke, it's, uh, I've been doing really well. Um, if, you, if, if you haven't followed uh, my life, I've been, I've been living what, in my opinion, like a pretty cool thing. I've been going back and forth a lot. Uh, I I feel as though I found a stability in some chaos recently. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's a hard thing to be in. Um, but at least there's something, there's something holding it together, uh, at least temporarily. Um, and yeah, things are, also why are there dirt blocks here? I think I should not have dirt blocks there. There we go, they're gone now. Okay, so we need more dirt. Uh, but now we've got more of everything else. This should all hold together slightly better. I saw a series like this uh, to make it possible. Uh, he got obsidian. I think the interesting thing to me is going as far as we can that is possible that a reasonable person can do. I mean, there's a decent argument that this is not what a reasonable person can do because why would a reasonable person do it? But uh, yeah, I'm new as it possible to the game super flat. If not, what's the overall goal? Get as many unique items as we can. I think making a village would be cool. Because the one thing that separates Java super flat from Bedrock super flat is that you can get villages um, in their super flat. If we can make our own village, it's like a cool way to like overcome that difference, right? But yeah, now because we've got extra layers, you can see how more mobs are spawning, which leads to more zombies. And you know what more zombies leads to? That's right, eventually. Okay. Look. Kill you two. Eventually more zombies is gonna lead to more more goodies. That's the hope at least. It's definitely the hope. Um currently making a good doc of all the possible items you could get. That's a fun idea. Thank you for it. Ooh, okay. No no end right there. Yeah, I, I, I it's it's like a fun challenge to even imagine though, right? Like the fact that you enjoy making that Google Doc to be like, yeah, I what items are physically even possible? I, I, it's hard to know for sure. 67% of viewers have liked, says Chris Tristam Groves. Are you watching this live stream right now and you haven't liked? That's okay. But have you considered doing it anyway? It would help out and you'd be nice for doing it. It's not really a lot of other benefit to yourself. It will go into your liked video playlist so you'll be able to save it and see it later. Maybe you value that. But if you don't, then uh, yeah, you don't need to like the video. But would you want to? Do you want to see that like counter go up? It's pretty cool seeing the light counter go up. Makes you feel real powerful. You know, in this world where we're feeling so disempowered all of the time, wouldn't it be nice if uh, there was something where you could see a direct action as a result of your inputs? Because, uh, you know, I, 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 in a non-ironic way here, sorry, this, this, this whole rant is now spinning off liking the video, so <laughs> I'm sorry if it seems, um, if it seems a little bit uh, too intense for that. But, like, uh, for real, like, in a world where, um, like, it is so, you know, if you think about what the average person does now, because of um, title inflation mixed with the complexities of a world where, um, you know, there are so many different jobs to be done um, in so many weird ways that were near unimaginable even like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 100 years ago. Um, 
But like now it's so impossible to know what anyone actually does. Like, oh yeah, I'm the I'm the assistant head of content media management at in the in the uh in the growth department. And it's like what did you just say? That wasn't a job title. You just said a bunch of words to me, hoping that I wouldn't pay attention. Uh, and then we can move on. It, se it seems like it's the only way I can logically infer anything from that. But like, yeah, no, that, that's just because. Like, well, I mean, like, jobs are, jobs are complex now, right? Like, there's a there's a lot of lot of complex companies with a lot of complex jobs they gotta do. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling bullish about getting an iron ingot now. <laughs> Incorrectly bullish. Um, but uh, you can trade lava for emeralds, not the other way around. That's such a weird trade to make too. Like I, d I don't know who is making that trade that way around, you know? Smelt that iron sword and shovel. Good idea, spark bag. Uh, point me to my furnace and then I'll do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like in a, in a world where everyone feels like it's very hard to understand exactly what your particular job is. Even mine, right? Like I'm not, I'm not just someone who makes videos or even makes videos about Minecraft. I make videos within this like weird segment of Minecraft that like is always evolving, but there's still like, yeah, so I've got to like work out this, that, 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 that. It's like, what what do I do on a day-to-day -day basis? Like, did I have a productive day today because I spent an hour and a half playing around with lava on top of water or whatever else? Uh, maybe, maybe not, who knows for sure. And so like having direct action and feedback from your things is something a lot of people like, like, yeah. It's, it's fun just to like, I don't know, assemble a piece of furniture. Cause at least it's an annoying hour long task, but at least when it's done, you're like, well, I did a thing and I've got physical proof. Yo, nice, nice. I enjoyed that video. Thank, thank you, Kat. I, I appreciate it. I, uh, I think, uh, oh no, we don't, we don't kill these guys with uh, bows. I think the statistics show that not ma not as many people did as normal and that's okay. And not everything is going to be your favorite thing. Um, we get another zombie dead. We get another zombie dead. I I want to believe the cyan ingot is coming soon. I just don't have a lot to to back up that theory right now. I think when, when the next night comes, we'll grab a stack of dirt. Because we, we can do this during the night too, by the way. I just think, let's not. Are you playing this like hardcore? If I was playing hardcore, I think I'd put a lot more like protections in place. Drowns drop copper as of 1.17. They do. It's. I, I think that's a cool feature. I think I preferred when they dropped gold or whatever else they dropped. But you know, as, as a way to get copper, sure, why not? It works. You can do it, says Dylan Wen. I can. I really can. Too bad YouTube doesn't have channel points that we could predict on what zombie kill it drops. Okay, everyone just right now, place your bet. At what number of zombie kills will we get the seventh uh, iron ingot that we need for a cauldron? At what number of zombie kills is that happening? Ooh, a potato. See, that's a 1 in 40 drop chance. That could have been an iron ingot right there, but instead it was a potato. <laughs> it's brutal. Okay, so, like, take a screenshot off the number you guessed, Anplan Baby 666. That is a very, that is a very pessimistic guess. Also a little bit satanistic. You know, you know, you can you can say all you like that your your parents have issues of you because of whatever else in your life, but really they have issues because you're literally the devil. I think. Um, try to get the fisherman villager so you can sell strings for emeralds and buy water. Yeah, that that that'll be a cool villager to have. I do agree with you on that. Oh god, the the bows are just building up in chests, and I know I don't need them. That's the worst bit about it is that I I know I don't need them. Um. Gold makes more sense because ocean monuments. Yeah, no, I see that. Yeah, I, I mean, like, copper and aging and, uh, you know, yeah, there's, I guess you could argue all day about what makes more sense. Is that what they should be going for? Or should they be going for, like, what makes the most fun gameplay-wise? And it's weird because you can really make a decent argument for both. Um, if you combine all the bows in your crafting menu, like an anvil. Yeah, but like, why would I want to combine them all, you know? Like, I, I don't have enough arrows to ever use that many bows. I can't enchant them. Um, but yeah, I uh, you missed my early donation. But anyways, you can trade a fisherman to get campfire to cook food and get charcoal. You can also trade shepherds for shears to get snow columns. Yeah, someone said um, that uh, fishermen will sell 
um, campfires, and once you can break a campfire, you can get coal. So that is a really exciting thing to get to. For what it's worth, though, the... Oh, God. I'm going to get, like, shot off or something. It feels like. Okay, so we need to keep on climbing up. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing here? I don't like what you're doing. Um, so he's just going to shoot me from that. So I have to shoot back. Please stop. Man. That was a big waste of arrows. Okay, so we, uh, we have some slabs on us somewhere. And we can use those slabs to just make a little safety box here, I think. <laughs> just a little, little safety box. Uh, and then from there, we're a, we're a little bit safer now. And then also what we need to do is we need to make the slabs go up a little bit higher. Actually, we should make them go up higher from here. Probably makes sense. Uh, and then we can build the next layer of stuff. Obviously, first of all, though, we build it from here. So those shouldn't be on this side. I think I messed up slightly with that, but it's not a big deal. It's not like actually a mess up. It's just an imperfection. Um, and yeah, we're building this bigger because it really did have an immediately noticeable impact. It could have been placebo. But even if it's placebo, what did I just do? Even if it's placebo, it's still important to me to do it. Can you pick up the arrows when they don't hit? Exactly, right? That, that was my example earlier I gave where like, even though uh, they've decided for gameplay reasons that you should not be able to pick up skeleton arrows when they don't hit. Because even though they're clearly firing arrows at you, and when you fire arrows, you can pick them up. It would be OP if you could just farm skeleton arrows that way, in their opinion. And so that when, when a skeleton fires an arrow at you, it's never pick upable. Also, how do we light the campfire without flint? I think the campfire comes pre-lit, right? Am I wrong? I Like, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when you get a campfire item, it's pre-lit and you have to unlight it. Um, because most people who would make a campfire in the early game wouldn't have a flint and steel. Not sure if that's the actual explanation, but it's, uh, it's the reasoning I use mentally from my head. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll make sure to expand nice and far this way. The, the, the further up we go above this, the less efficient it's going to be because they're going to be really, really high up in some unpredictable ways. But it's, it's mostly fine. Also, what is this above me now? Is that slabs? Oh, that's the slabs to get to that. Okay, that's a bit of a mess. It's so dark, by the way, I can't see much either. Don't worry, I want to I be done with this too. So, place those there. We're good. Place these we have. Place those. We're good. We're going to place all of these trapdoors. Then we're going to place these ones. Again, just maximum amount of places for a mob to walk off down to a previous lair. Because if we have mobs that congregate up here, it's going to take up the spawn cap in a very negative way. I think we're so far from the spawn cap being the biggest of our concerns right now. Like, again, spawn positions and other stuff like that are the big concerns. But still, why, why waste it if we know we can't? Okay, so now we've made it more efficient than it was before. I'm feeling pretty pleased with that. Where did those slabs come from? Is it that slab that was catching me off guard? I don't even know what I was seeing. I just know I want to get back to killing mobs. Turn on negative screen from window settings so you can see better in the dark. It's a good pro tip right there. Okay. Just use your cobblestone, Jenna. You know. We're ready to do this, internet. We're ready to have some mobs come down. And maybe... Oh, cause me some issues. Kill the skeleton. Oh, no, that was my last arrow. See, look at this, right? Even though... Because I shot that arrow, and because it wasn't another mob, I can run over here somewhere. Where did it go, actually? Do you see where my arrow is? It must be, like, in the fence. Oh, here's the arrow. So I can pick up my arrow, and now it's back in my inventory. But because he shot the other arrow, we can't do that, question mark. Super flat realm review sounds hype. If you have a super flat realm, give it, give it, show, show it to me. I'd, I'd be happy to see it. So yeah, right now we should be getting a lot more mob spawns. Uh, why we're not is something I, I can't fully answer. Super flat realm, uh, but uh, yeah, I. Why aren't you doing this thing that's exclusive to Java or impossible to super flat world? Says diluted Dante. There are a lot of comments like that, huh? It's a, uh, it's a fun reminder that the wisdom of the crowd 
is never the individual wisdom in a crowd. Also, if an arrow hits a block and you mine the block, the arrow is likely to hit you because the mob, who, even if the mob who fired it's dead, did that to myself recently. That is that is very true. That's putting the cart before the horse there, really. Is it now? How big's the perimeter around the mob spawner? I want to try this challenge myself. It's eight chunks by eight chunks. You technically would need it to be a nine chunk by nine chunk area with a chunk in the center. So I do need to expand this by a little bit more in each direction for what it's worth. But yeah, that's the basics of it. Um, if you could do that, it would be an infinite arrow farm. Yeah, that's the official reason for not, right? But is that a good enough reason? Some would say it's not. And some would say it is. So I guess that's the balance. We've been going for so long and there's not been a mob. I've just been standing around. <sighs> and then we then we get this. This isn't this isn't a mob. This is no one's definition of a mob. This doesn't even count anymore. So yeah, we're gonna keep combining the bows together. Because we're at that stage of Ooh, okay. Two zombies. Three zombies. Okay, I think we're about to enter Tuna Town. Let's go. Zombie one. Nothing good. Zombie two and zombie three. No oh yes! Yes, 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 yes. As long as a creeper doesn't blow her up, we are good. Oh yeah, you see that chat Oh my <laughs> It's the thing about buses, right? You wait so long for a bus and then two shot at once. We went so long about Iron Inga and then that just happened. Like the odds of getting two within three two two Iron Ingots within three zombies is nuts. The odds on that, like one in hundred and twenty times two is it you know two I, I can't even I don't even want to do the maps. So we're gonna be very careful with this craft right here. But look at this chat. I am okay, where is the cauldron? It's over here. We definitely want a cauldron, right? We can't we can't even Do we want a cauldron? No no no, I think we wanted to craft a minecart. Yeah, it was we wanted a minecart because the minecart fills with water. Um right? Because a cauldron wouldn't fill with water. It might have it's got those little feet. No, we're gonna craft the cauldron. I'm like almost certain I need it. Oh man. And now what we can do is we can place this cauldron down. For now I'm gonna place it on my slimes over here. Just so it's behind me. And then whenever it rains, this will fill up. In the meantime, I need to get two more of these uh iron nuggets, right? Iron ingots, sorry. Because I need to make a bucket so that when this cauldron fills up, I can take the water out of there. Once I've done that, fishing is available. Drowns are available. Um, making, if I really want, more efficient farms. Because I can make infinite water sources from one of these. No, I need to I need to get a water outfit, put it down, and then get another one, right? There's a weird tip you can use with um, seagrass to make infinite water from one source. Maybe if I like play around with it enough, I could probably do it. Law of averages makes me think the next two are gonna be rough as thick sand. Yeah, no, I, I do genuinely believe that. Like that, that is not a good sign for our future uh, off this. But I'm happy enough right now that it's not a big deal. I'm, I'm right in the high. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to a nice round number before we, we end this one. Uh, you know, like 420 zombies seems like a nice thing. The spawn proof should be 120 in all directions from the chunk you're standing. Uh, if your simulation distance is four, then why would you need to do it in every direction, right? Place water above the cauldron, and uh, from what I've heard, it fills the cauldron. Oh, really? Oh, okay. If that works, then heck yeah. Actually, can we can we break a, an iron cauldron with wooden pickaxe? We probably can. I'm not going to do it, just in case. I'm going to test that. Test that in another world where I haven't spent 16 hours collecting iron. <laughs> if that, I think that's a smart thing to do. Should we use this iron to craft something fun? Use the bottles to take from the force source and fill the cauldron to get a second. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's smart. Yeah. If, if we can't, there's, there's a lot of things we can do here to make sure we get it. I agree with everyone that's saying that. And now for the first time in Minecraft history, you want rain, says Panos Economides. Right, that is that is so true. Like, yep, I guess we want rain now. So you can't should play the lottery now. Yeah, I wait, I want to do the maths on that. Okay, so first of all, we'll kill the zombie. He's number 395. 
Imagine if he dropped an iron ingot too. You'd have to be question. We'd have to be getting some uh, some Harvard astrophysicists to to be looking at the numbers and and uh, seeing the likelihoods at that stage. But um, yeah, I uh, okay. That's a skeleton. You die with the bow. Zombie, zombie, zombie. You want to come over here? Ooh, good boy, good boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sorry. Um, I think a zombie would be a great pet. Yeah, no, here's, like, I, I, so, uh, to go back to a subject that I dropped, uh, two or three streams ago, <laughs> uh, here's an interesting thing, right? If, if zombies were in a world without an apocalypse, because whenever zombies appear in media, why do they jump around so much when they're on slabs? Like, uh, whenever zombies appear in, uh, in media, it's usually in a world where they have collapsed society. You know, it's like a analog to, like, a pandemic or whatever else. Um... I wonder if we'll see a resurgence of zombie movies, or if like they're gonna be like too pandemic-y seeming, that it's gonna be uninteresting. Um, yeah, you know, I, I genuinely could see it going either way. But um, I uh, oh man, there's so many zombies. I I think we might just get our our second second thing done here anyway. Okay, let's 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 get another iron ingot. But um, cauldrons can be mine of any pickaxe. See, it doesn't make sense that they can be mine of any pickaxe, but I'm just going to accept that it's... Oh, there's a zombie on those stairs. Oh, okay, they're, they're all getting over to the stairs. That's a big problem. Oh, there's so many mobs up there. Look at that. See, that's that's the dream right there. It's working at a very decent capacity. It takes a while to get running, but once it's running, it runs well. Seems to be the truth here. Um, but um, I'm back and you have the cauldron. Do you see it? Do you see my cauldron? Do you see how I made this thing? Look at the mobs that I have running around in this area. Um, okay, so we need to make sure the skeletons stay away from me. There's so many creepers around. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh! <laughs> I think the skeleton killed a zombie in there somewhere. Um, yeah, that was intense, right? That was very intense. Um, I think I dealt with that well. I think the, the half-heartedness... See? There's this half hard in this one. That's fun. Oh, he came from the stairs. He came a long way. So yeah, we need we need to fix whatever co is causing that. That is pretty cool. Clutch, says Thomas Stendhal. <laughs> I really like that moment. If there is a highlight reel, that better be in there. How did that zombie die? Oh no, skeletons can actually can actually just kill me. They can just feel like kill okay, no, okay, I'm not going up there then, I guess. Guess I'm gonna stay down here. Good idea, skeleton. Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah, I need to make a place to deal with skeletons. Like, this is not... Like, do you see how many t hits I just took there? There's no easy way to fix that, either. Like, we just have to deal with them with arrows, which are a very limited resource. Sadly. We could get a ton of... No, we can't... Yeah, we can't even craft our own arrows. We, we are at the mercy of the game. Uh, drop rate for arrows there. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, another skeleton. Just grab his arrows. Honestly, we ju we'll just keep running around on this table here. I think it's kind of fun, if nothing else. And if, we, if we're if we staying, like... If we're doing little loops, we should be, like, stopping mobs from spawning in all directions. Or, like, helping them spawn in each direction a little bit at a time. It'll be fun. Well, okay. I saw you have a chest of over a stack of arrows. Is that true? Do I have a stack of arrows lying around in here? Ah, why did I trust you? Oh, okay. Your your misinformation almost led to my death there. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got the cauldron. Now we just need the bucket. We're statistically only 240 zombies away. Statistics would say that. Cover the sides of cauldron with wood. That way, if a creeper explodes, it won't destroy the cauldron. Ah, uh, that's a good point. I really should. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna place some of those around there. It's a good idea. Just just keep that thing safe. It's a lot of skeletons. Okay, let's just let's run in there. Let's do that. Okay, no, let's not run in there. Uh, sometimes mobs will jump before falling and die. Oh, that's funny, FF Games. <laughs> I hope that's... I, I know it is. Like, oh, Christ. I'm not doubting you or anything. But it's just such a funny, dumb feature. To, to like, why, why do they be like that, you know? 
If you open and close your chest 3,487 times, a bucket of lava will appear, says Child Child. Now that seems true. Chest by the house has arrows, says Savannah Thompson. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to go to sleep. And, uh... We're going to... We're going to have a lovely tomorrow. We've got a lot more bones to grow some food. I can actually... I could grow a lot of wheat if I wanted to. And also today, we can uh, kill the zombies that have spawned around the place. You see that? That's two zombies right there. Add them to the kill counter. Man, they're taking a lot of wooden sword hits today. 410. Oh, we're in the 400s now. That means we get... That, we, that means we get non-stop fun regarding the... Uh, regarding the counter. You excited for that? I hope you're excited for that. Uh, throw the rotten flesh in here. And... Oh, I do have a stack of arrows. Oh, okay, yeah. Arrows are not in short supply. Thank I guess they're just in a different place than I was expecting. Um, yeah, we also can start to stop caring about bows so much. It seems. And as long as these... These creepers are just a threat to my life. I don't... I don't like their uh, existence there. Um... You know, it's fine. So yeah, let's treat ourselves to some bread. I think we've earned it. I think we've earned ourselves a lot of bread. Um, Y'all calculating the two ingots from free zombies, forgetting that he uh, already killed a bunch. I think that, like, luck is inherently a feeling-based thing to people. Honestly, this is the weird thing about science as a whole. Like, there are some types of science that we can all look at and go, yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. But then there are some types of science that people just, like, can't accept. And so your expectations create your reality to some extent. Like, if you're, if you're feeling, if you're feeling that luck is, like, a tangible, measurable thing, then, like, what can you do to undo that for someone? And the answer is you, you can't, really. Um, which, and, that, and that's fine, right? Like, uh, people can believe whatever they want. But, um, and so, like, you know, there's all sorts of weird science about, like, you know, like, superstition... Like, you know, a lot of people make fun of the people who are like, yeah, um, this, this, that, uh, comes from there. But, like, we all have our own superstitions. We just find other people's superstitions dumb. Because, you know, like, our own superstitions are also dumb. But, like, that feels, that feels, like, in a different way dumb, you know? Like, it's, it's not the same type of dumb. See, I'm gonna plant a lot of wheat just out on the ground here. In a nice big row. Just so I can get some seeds planted. Uh, if nothing else. Uh, and, then, and then they'll be doing something at least while I'm doing all the rest of this. And then we grow a lot more wheat for a lot more bread. We're gonna we're gonna have a serious amount of bread tomorrow. This is uh, this is particularly true when it comes to the idea of free will. Yeah, free will feels like a thing that we want to exist. Tomorrow, also, Jacqueline I will be Smith. At a career fair, literally finding my replacement, so I will miss the stream. <laughs> but good luck, and I oh, hope man. you get all your iron at 666 zombies. I hope that that's a good thing that you want, and not a terrible thing that is is day ruining. It sounds like it's the second one based on the uh, based on the phrasing. You know, the voice just sounded sad as she as she was saying that. She's like, "I'm literally gonna be finding my replacement." It's fine. Look, I'm fine. I'm like, I'm totally fine. I'm I'm really fine. Just you know, like it's 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 just really good knowing knowing how much the company. Uh, you know, I'm I'm great. I'm great. I uh, thank you for asking. I'm doing really well. You know, just uh, you know, I'm feeling feeling sad otherwise, but like yeah, really really good. You know, that type of fine. Um, I think I should make myself a stone hoe soon. Like, make it now, rather than making it when I need one. Seems smart. I'm also gonna make a wooden pickaxe. Not that I need one later, but like, that way the wooden pickaxe I have on me is just fully... You know, it, it just seems like a, a, a pertinent decision. Make a wooden sword now. And then also, make ourselves a ton of bread. 17 bread now, chat. Look how bread heavy I am. You know, am I... Am I your poor dietary decisions? Because I am filled with bread. Um, okay, so just split this up amongst there. Uh, actually, we should be laying the potatoes out, but not going to yet. So, Kat, why are you playing on the preview? Um, because I'm an idiot, mostly. Uh, the, when the, uh, the preview, at one point, let you play super flat without achievements turning off, and then they just disabled it in the next beta for a reason. I I, 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 I can't find a reason in it. Um, but I figured I'd stick with it anyway because um, you know how it be. Click at Stacked, he has lever armor and a new wooden sword. <laughs> 16 hours into my survival world and I'm excited because I've got two pieces of lever armor and I've got a full brand new wooden sword. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't want to flex too hard on all of you. But I think I've kind of made it. So you can't sleeping reset your rain cycle. Don't sleep. Um, I, I agree with the basics on that. But I also think it's got to be more complex than just that, right? Because, like, if you reset your... Okay. Your sleep cycle could be anywhere between, like, zero and a hundred days, let's say, right? And so you're saying, if your sleep cycle was... If you, by resetting your sleep cycle, you're potentially making it uh, higher. But you're also potentially making it lower. It's, it's possible that if you stay awake for a really, really, really long time, that you're statistically going to make it worse. I feel like the rain, rain cycle thing got changed, though. It's impossible to know for sure, right? With uh, with anything Minecraft. It's impossible to be certain what's happening underneath the hood. All I know for now, though, is you see this cauldron? Chat, do you, do you see this cauldron I have? Do you see it? Do you see it with your eyes? I see it with my eyes. You see how it's like a cauldron uh, that's going to fill up with water? Again, like, I, I don't have to worry about it too bad. Um, because Mostly because we're still getting those last two iron bits. But like, oh no, the, the zombie despawned. I don't know why he despawned. He's still at it, says Lufu. I am indeed still at it. So yeah, let's let's go. Let's let's make you not alive. Oh, also some more arrows. Very handy. Yeah, a lot more mobs are just dying as they hit the ground right now. Maybe I place some uh, trap doors on a slide I shouldn't have. Huh? That doesn't seem to be it either. Maybe they're going down, like, two layers at a time. No, that can't. Yeah, like, if there's a top layer. Yeah, I, I don't even know, actually. I don't actually know what's going on. Just tuned in again. I don't know if you have one cauldron full. Use bottles and the water source to fill the cauldron. Oh, yeah, we could use bottles on the water source. We don't even have to wait for them to be something else. Okay, so. Shoot you. Shoot you. And then we'll murder you with a bow. Well, actually, we'll murder you with an iron ingot to give ourselves a higher chance of getting one. Because that's... Trust me, trust me, chat. My superstitions say that that's true. And your superstitions are dumb, but my superstitions are just correct. Um, just lots and lots of arrows. I shot the zombie with an arrow, which I know doesn't lower the drop rate, but it feels... It feels wrong. It feels like I did something incorrect. Um, Minecraft question I haven't thought of in 12 years. Why aren't there uh, baby skeletons? There should be baby skeletons, really. Really, when you think about it, right, there should be. Tomorrow I'll be at a career fair. Oh yeah, sorry, Jacqueline Smith, by the way. Thank you very much for uh, showing up. I I think that I'll have my iron before the um, the thing. I uh, I just realized you have the most basic last name. It just hit me now that that's that's your um like I like Smith is the default like lazy last name. Like if you if you tell someone your last name is Smith, they're allowed to think that you're lying. Like, they're legally allowed to just assume that you've told them false information. There's an extra trapdoor on the second floor. You mean those ones? Those those are unnecessary. Unless you mean there's just... Uh, unless you're talking about the um, the pressure plate that's chilling there. Which also shouldn't be there, probably, by any correct designs. But that's not the method we're using to measure it. It's not about whether it should be there. It's about whether it feels right there. What about my last name? It says Amadeus von Gerard Burke. Eh, I, I, I like to go to the... I don't know. This is not a very good German accent. Oh, no. It's, it's, not, it's definitely not German. Okay. I am from the Germany. Uh, in in our country, we have a big holiday we all take. In, um, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Okay. So we've got a really nice number of... Uh, Zombies killed, it seems. You don't get 100% of exploded stuff back on bedrock. Take your treasure safe. Yeah, I... I do wonder... Um, I, I, I did feel as though every time I was dying, that wasn't a thing, Parvo Mac. Like, why is that a weird bedrock quirk, right? That, that feels like that shouldn't be a, uh, exclusive to a platform. And yet it is anyway. Okay, so then... Murder, murder... Okay, so we've got 419 zombies killed. I was going to end it at 420, but just so people don't think that it's a joke when I start at 420 next time. I think this is a good place as any to end. I've been going for just under three hours. Tomorrow, that means that we are getting rain or we are getting a bucket. And I pray we're getting both. If we got, if we got two iron ingots today, we can get two iron ingots tomorrow. 
Uh, that's the promise. Tomorrow, bucket is happening. No, no matter what, you will see a bucket. I've got a, I've got a thing to attend to tomorrow. I'm not gonna say it out loud in case I spoil what it is. You know, I, I once did a really cool. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh, this is scary. This is like genuinely too much. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it's so surreal watching boats move around. They feel like it. It feels like it happens in slow motion. Also, I guess we're- also, thank you for remembering. You'll get it at 420. Ah, <laughs> uh, you lied to me, Alejandro. Why'd you lie to me? So just so we- Do you like the nice number chat? Do you like it? We- we-, we oh, I guess we can't leave right now. Well, I mean, all the zombies are spawning in. 421, 422. Okay, it's a nice number. And, uh, yeah, I- thank you very much for showing up. Tomorrow, same time, three hours ago. So 21 hours from now, set an alarm for 21 hours, and you can s actually wait. I will be somewhere until 22 hours from now. Probably like 22 and a half hours from now, if we're being realistic about like travel times and stuff. Um, my stomach hurts, and so I hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you for the lovely people coming over here, because I'll see you all tomorrow. Also, I've got a video or something. About not super flat. But way more importantly, super flat tomorrow. See you there. Goodbye.